All right, everybody, welcome to the SMRPG Any Percent tutorial. I'm going to try to stay focused and uh, just go through this kind of quickly. You know, I'm not going to dilly dally anyway. A good way to start it by saying dilly dally. So. All right, so first thing is the title screen, okay? So, I'm gonna pre I'm gonna be pretty in-depth. So whenever you save a game, it always goes back to that file. So, when you are uh, doing a run, if you pick new game, which you always do, it always goes back to new, to the first slot. And, uh, so, if you don't have anything there, that's good, but it will always overwrite your first slot. So if you're practicing, which you have three other slots, just know that when you save for the manipulation, you're going to save over this first spot. Okay? Mono, stereo, doesn't matter. New game. Um, the first thing to know is that we time from power on. Um, so uh, you power your game up and you start new game. And if you are running on Japanese or English, the only acceptable name is L. Okay. And then press A. Uh, you can press start. Any of the buttons, you can even go like up, down, like that. Or you can even push start and it'll go directly to done. That's what we do. That's the title menu. There you go. So. The first trick in the game is the Terrapin Manip. It comes up in about 50 seconds, but... Um, there are certain frames where none of the Terrapins will attack. And so there is a certain movement through the first room that I'll try to, try to execute. Uh, and then there are actually frame cues. So I'm going to do it once, and then I'm going to try to replicate it on emulator and do it a second time. I'm going to show you once, and then we'll uh, go back through it. <laughs> hey, Alan. I'm... All right, so the first thing you do is hold upright and Y. And until you get to the door, then you kind of shimmy in there. That was a little too fast. <laughs> Alright, you're gonna punch the back one first. So you hit A, right, A. Okay, so I messed that up. Which I thought I would do. Because of my early entry. And you usually get one punch on the second round. And then hopefully I don't get one on the last one. Okay, I did. It's always tough to execute when you got a ton of people watching. But you punch one guy and you jump on three guys. And the reason for that is... Um, I'm going to run into the next room here. But the reason for that is uh, you want to power up your jump. And so to power up your jump, all you do is use jump. And uh, there's a jump counter. So every time you use jump, this uh, internal jump counter increments and every time it goes up by two your jump power goes up one so your jump ends up doing more damage uh, every jump i'm gonna switch over to emulator real quick let's see how fast i can do this i got two controllers and i got emulator going okay and of course my controller doesn't work nice. I'm gonna mute the. Um, I'm gonna mute this so you can't hear it. It doesn't really matter. I don't hear the emulator at least here. So, um, cool thing about doing this is you can um, fast forward. Okay. So here is how do I pause? Okay, I think I paused. 
I already messed it up. Let's see. Hot keys. Pause is the but the pause button. Nice. Oh, here. I don't know what happened. Okay. This is going to go in here. I'll go over here. Okay. Okay, now we're good. Alright. Okay, there we go. Alright, so to do this Terrapin Manip, there's other resources out there that you can try. What you're going to do... Upright, do that. Now, I'm gonna point out things here. Okay, so you have to look at this Terrapin right here. You need to look at his, look at his arm, okay? So if you do the movements through, emulator is loud. It should be muted. Should be muted. So what you have to do is you have to look at this arm, okay? And so when this arm swings forward and then back, you need to push A to do the attack, okay? So I'm gonna load the state. Oh, it's muted now, okay, cool. All right, so unpause. Run through, jump over these two guys. Oh, that was bad because they move differently. Okay. So right there. That's when you want to punch, when he's on like that bottom. So it's that right there. That's C right here is where when you want to punch, when his arm gets there. Okay. That's when you push the A button to punch. Okay, we're gonna roll back, and we're gonna go. And this all saves like two seconds, so. Oh, actually, <laughs> it's the other way. And so you wanna hit that frame, and if you don't have good movement through the first room, that's when you, uh, that's when you see it'll fail. Okay, I'll try it again. Okay, that looked like good movement. Jump over the two bros, or hammer, uh, turtle guys. Jump, jump. All right, that was good movement. Save. Okay, so that was the first one. All right, now I'm gonna show you the key for the second one. Okay, so it's not, don't worry about that guy punching. We're just gonna get through it. Okay, so what happens is this next guy this top guy, you'll like if you if you get the thing right, you'll notice this guy's hand is going up and down. Okay, so just watch his arm. So when you come back, you want to jump, press or select jump immediately. Get here, and then you're going to see his arm get to there, and that's when you want to press jump again. Okay. So when you jump on this guy, you. Uh, get rid of it or you kill him you'll get one punch from one of these two guys and then the last one on this guy that I have the arrow on you're going to wait a split second and you're going to punch when his hand gets to this position okay so to recap okay so I'm gonna pause it for this guy so the first one is attack you want to do it right now so right here, see the punches forward, okay? Second guy, it's when it's in the middle, right there, when his fist is in the middle. 
Okay? If you do it all correctly, you'll get one punch in the third phase, and then you're going to jump on this guy when his hand hits the back, right there. And that's it. And that's your one, um, your one, uh, punch manip. It's pretty easy, but you can also get two or three. Okay? So that's that. Back to the game. It's weird that the stream is jumping. We're gonna split. All right, so here, you're just gonna master text and you can uh, master text with A only um, outside of battle. But in battle, you can use the D-pad or any of the face buttons to advance text. So here, this is, counts as a battle because we get the battle animation. So I'll push down and it'll advance it. Okay, so in this fight, all you're gonna do is you're gonna jump on the, the chain. So you have to go over from Bowser. You don't have to time this, okay? Don't time block that either. It saves frames to not time it. And then you're gonna jump on him again, but the cursor goes back to Bowser. Gotta go over to the chain again, and that's it. All right, and then you can mash, you can rotate the D-pad or mash all the buttons like this. I just rotate the D-pad the and that's pretty much it. Yeah, I'm glad it took 11 minutes to explain Terrapin Manip to save like three seconds. This is gonna be great. Okay, so that goes through the smithy cutscene. Basically, if you do all that right, you're gonna, uh, this is about another minute cutscene here, but you're gonna wanna get to the pipe house around four minutes and 20 seconds. That, that means that you've done well. Yep, exactly. I'm going to be doing both, so you can, um, if you stay tuned, I'll uh, be going back and forth. So the emulator is going to be in Japanese, and the cart is going to be in English. Okay, so here you have to mash A to get off of the uh, the hook. So now you push B to get off there, down right, and go out. Talk to Toad. Toad wonders where Princess is. After this second text box, you leave. And Toad stops you, he makes you go save. And you just leave again without saving. Back to Bowser Castle. Master text, no big deal. You can only push A here, which I'm doing. Don't go back into Vista Hill, make sure you go back to Mario's pad and go back in. Hold up here and then right to go into the door. So pretty easy. You just start here, hold up, and then up right to the door, up, talk to Toad. 
Now there's a lot of like camera manips and stuff in this game where you want to talk to to or talk to the NPCs like as close to where Mario is going to run to. All right? So out of here, you just hold left and then down left, down and run out. Okay? Simple. Now Toad's going to, you know, give you some mushrooms here. But here, if you mash, you want to say, "Of course I know how to use items." It's the same in Japanese, same text box. So always push down, otherwise you're going to lose like a minute right away. Of course you know. And that's not it. There is actually another one. So don't get hit by another one. So you need to tell him you know about time pits. Of course. Yes. Okay. So we're mashing A, we're mashing A. If you don't know, you can watch it, but... At this point, you should know, or you should know. All right, that's it. Toad leaves. You can just hold down right and leave. Split. Okay. All right, so here, the first thing you do is just hold right. I'm going to try to talk through it. So just hold right, and then down right, jump over this guy, hold right, up right, jump over that guy, and then the third guy is going to appear. Okay, so I'll do that one more time. Oh, and there's a Koopa. Nice. And of course, we can't run away. Here we go. Rarely do you go through this game backwards, so... One more time. Yeah, you can also buffer your inputs, so... Down right, hold right, jump over the Goombas, the third one appears. Now this second room's a little tricky. You have to get up to that box that's up on the top left. That Goomba's not gonna get in your way. But this guy is the issue. You can get, you can jump on, you can hit him and get into a battle. You lose a ton of time. Or that Troopa's gonna go up there. I've never had this happen. Oh my gosh. Okay, get out of here. Let's try this again. Hey, run in here. And you can jump, you can even like go up here and then just tap up when you're in the air and you'll get on the flower and that guy won't hit you. Jump off here, get this flower. It's important it's in the route. Um, there are other flowers you can get, but that's the easiest one or the fastest one. So get the flower. That guy's coming after me. Hold right and then come down and out. Run past that leaf here, okay? Run past this leaf and then hold right. Just hold right, hold right, hold right. And then this guy's gonna come out here. But you wanna jump over him, and you can jump through that little thing. Um, but you just don't wanna get hit. Now you're gonna fight the Hammer Brothers. All right, so this is the first battle. And what you wanna do is you wanna jump on both of them, but you don't wanna kill one before the other. Uh, you wanna jump on both of them before you kill one of them. So you jump on the first one and you have to time it, okay? The timing it is pushing it when Mario lands. Now this is all in CRT, so... Um, this is for CRT timing. So I'm going to try to like angle my controller so you can see me push the button. That's a little early. Uh, and then the time blocks for that, I'll show you again. It's right after the last sound. That was a little late because I was talking, but jump on the first guy, jump on the second guy. Time jumps on both. You should see 43 and 45. Now there's a resource that has all of the um, the timed hits on there that you can practice. Um, but it's just pushing the... You can actually push any of the face buttons to time block. Um, but uh, yeah. So now all you have to do is an untimed punch. Because it does uh, 7 damage. Uh, and forty he has 50 HP. So that kills him. I think the jump timing has a really large window. So anyway, on this one you just jump a third time and you kill him. You don't have to time that one either. Piece of cake. So you get a flower jar there which we're gonna sell. And you get the hammer here, which we do need to equip. Ash A, hold up right, A goes out. Okay. Boom. Moving along. Next one, Mushroom Kingdom. First thing you're gonna do here is go down just a little bit to like right here, okay? So this makes it easy. Just hold down right and then just hold right 
and you're going to just run, 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 and then when you get to the door, you go up. Now here, you can just tap up and you can talk to the key shopkeeper. You don't have to go like up to the desk. So you can just get him right there. So the first thing you're gonna do, and this is the route, we're following the peach chart 1.07. So to get coins, you have to sell items. Now I always sell a mushroom and a flower jar. Okay, so you sell those, you get your coins. Come back, go to buy. Honey syrups, you want five. Pick me up so you can get four, we'll get four. I get three sometimes. And then able juice, you can get four. Okay, and you also want a shirt and a jump shoe. You don't want anything else. Don't get pants, don't get the antidote pin, don't buy two shirts, don't buy two jump shoes. Okay? It's pretty simple. When you come out of here, make sure you hit B to go back to this menu, because you need to equip the stuff to Mario, because if you don't, then um, the Chancellor is going to show you how to equip items, and that's bad. It takes a long time. So here, if you're on any menu, you can hit up, and it'll cycle down to the other side of the menu. So you want to hit up, and here you just equip each thing, and that's it. Okay. And then from any menu, you can push X and get out of the menu. Okay. You want to run here and just take the shortest distance between these lines. Now this is very important. You need this frog coin. You have to jump on Toad's head. God. Okay. And then you have to jump on top of this door. And then it's right there. Okay. That's it. Then you run through. And you jump into the cut. Or you don't have to jump, but you just get into the cutscene. Now you just mash A. And that is pretty much it. What's up, Illegally Blind? Welcome to the stream. And so I'm going to answer some questions. Um, let's see. The best way to go about learning perfect blocks for each different attack, there is a resource I'm going to link. Uh, and this is it. So here you have to walk away after the uh, cutscene. But that's for your time pits. Uh, input uh, emulators are kind of tough to do to practice, but no big deal. And that's Squoty, so check that resource out. All right, here, just run out, down, down left, and just go all the way out. This is important. Go down and to the right a little bit here to um, make talking to Mallow a little easier. And here you just mash A as well. Oh yeah. My splitting's not going to be very accurate. I'll just split whenever. It's hard to keep the uh, camera like centered on the controller because I usually like move my hands forward naturally. So here, you want to just hold down and jump on top of Mallow's head and turn around and talk to him. Like that. Because it shifts the camera down. And it's, you don't get stuck behind them. Um, so here you want to mash A, but this uh, Toadette comes up to you and you want to mash B because she asks you to jump. So I usually mash A and B like this. Once you jump once, you're good to go. And so Matt, you don't have to worry about selecting a different box here. You can just pick uh, the top option. Emulators are good for practice. They're not good for runs. It's just not consistent. Okay, so this is important here actually. So when you're going to talk to a Toad down here, so here's Toad. Matt Mario like walks into the conversation. So you want to be in the center of this, like just like this. Watch how Mario walks forward. See, he doesn't like move from the top where Toad was. Um, he would walk from wherever you triggered the cutscene. So he walks to right there. And yeah, Toad forgot his bazooka again. But, uh... Yeah. Pretty funny to read it in English. Alright, down right and go out. Piece cake. Alright, now we're going to Bandit's Way. Bandit's Way is the first, like, tricky platforming in the game. 
The first one was kind of tricky, where you had that little flower to jump on, but no big deal. Alright, so here you want to hold down, and then down right, run past this guy, and jump over this guy. Okay. Alright, so these flowers are really weird. Whenever you jump on them, it's, it starts you in a certain direction. So for this one, you want to jump either upright or to the right directly. So I always try to land like right here, and it puts you to the right. If you land in the back, it, it sends you up. But if you land and like if, if you land like up, you have to wait, you know. Or if you land like on the right side, you have to wait all that time to go to the top right. So just right, land on the leftmost part, and it sends you to the left immediately. Now you don't want to you want to jump on these. You can get these coins, but it's faster to go around because then the coins don't reappear. And then here's the same thing. There's a Kiro Cola up here that's fr that's frozen. Or uh, frozen. That's hidden. And you want to jump on the left side and you can jump immediately. Oh. Like that. Alright. Here, run upright. Jump over this guy. And then just hold up right here. Just hold up. Then you go all the way. Hold up, hold up. And then up right, or up left. And jump over that guy. Now this part's kind of hard. So you have to mash A. I'm going to try to explain this after I do it. But you're trying to get this box that's on the next um, uh, the next dog here. And I got it. And you, to st If you're starting out, get 15 or 13 or whatever. But I got 15, so I'm good. First thing, you want to put special attack on Mario. Or special on Mario. Okay. Nice. So yeah, what you have to do is like, if you're in English, you want to hit this box immediately, get the two dogs, and then run over, and you have to do a, a jump off of the top of this dog while you're invincible, and you get this box. And you have like two frames to do it. It's pretty tough, but um, that's how you do it. If you got hurt at all, there's a mushroom in that chest right there. Um, you don't have to get it, but you can. There's Goombas that pop out, so be careful of those. Um, you have to talk to Croco behind him, or just run into him. And it's random where he goes, so... Um, you have to get him three times. There's a Goomba in the center, right there. If you miss the box, you can get another one later. It's no big deal. So yeah, that's a good point. Like, don't worry about getting that box. If you miss it, just keep going. There's one you can get later. All right, so this fight is easy. You just jump. I mean, it's easy to do. But you jump with Mario and defend with Mallow. You jump three times before you use a honey syrup. Blocking here is extremely important. This is a very, very important fight to learn blocking on. Because Mario will die. Or when he gets hit with a bomb... He loses, he loses 24 HP, and so if you miss time a block, then Mario is just going to die if he gets a bomb. Okay. Dump three times, time all of them, and then now you want to use a honey syrup. So the first item is always going to be, you can hit up and go to the honey syrup. And of course, Krako uses a bomb, and Mallow's dead. Just like, oh, missed! Always lucky. So now, there's a strat you can use if you have 11 flowers and a strat you can use when you have 12 flowers. So the 12 flower strat is to use a honey syrup right after the first one and then let Mallow die. Okay? So I used the the jump, or the first honey syrup. I used the second one. Now I can just let Mallow die because I don't need him. And I can jump on Krako. Now when you do a certain amount of damage, he uses this weird mushroom. Literally called a weird mushroom. And uh, and that means he's almost dead. Whenever he heals, it actually takes one of his turns, so... So that was actually a perfect uh, fight, because it... Uh, Mallow died, and I got the jump and everything. So that's it. Seven jumps, two honey syrups. Yes, I'll post this video. Mash A, B doesn't, or the, uh, mash A, or whatever, all the buttons and the D-pad, no big deal. Get you a flower tab. Mallow gets special at level 3. This is all in the route, so, uh, 
The route may change eventually, but this is the current route that's uh, that I used in my run. Uh, so you want to jump here on this thing, of course, and I'm going to save just because max skip's coming up. Uh, I don't think we need low level. Alright, and just run out of here. Don't get hit by a spiny. Now something interesting here is places that have two entrances, you can like determine which entrance you go in by the place on the map you come from. So like if you come from here, you're going to go in by the shop. But if you come in from here, you're going to go in um, on the other side of town, which is closer to the door. So that's what we're going to do. And then all we're going to do is hold up and right to, um, to go into the castle. You don't have to hold anything else. Don't worry about the shy guys. You're not going to hit them in the first room. Up and right. You can jump here for swag. And then here, upright, and then you have to go around this guy. And then wait in here, make sure they're going to be out of the way. And now we're getting ready for max skip. Hopefully I get this. I failed it. Alan M has a video that shows you how to do max skip, so I'm not going to um, go over it if I get it the first time. Okay, this is a bad spot because Mario's hat is completely covered. Uh, I don't know if that's good either. Okay, I think this is good. So to do max skip, watch that video. Oh gosh, I almost failed it. I almost failed it again. Okay, and you jump over here, you can jump on Mac or whatever, but just talk to the Chancellor. Splitting is hard when there's too many splits. Ashe. Yeah, it's possible. Alright, so all we're gonna do is master here and then run out. Yeah, watch that video. That's how you do it. Just watch the video. Uh, Alright, we're gonna leave. Just down right. You can jump to the music if you're cool. Watch out for that toad. It'll get in your way. And then we go to Kira Sewers. Alright, so on pipes, if you're holding Y, you can't go down a pipe. Okay. Like, I could just run off, right? If I let go of Y and press down, I go in the pipe. First thing you do, run off to the right, down right, and jump over the water because you don't want to, you know, go in the water. Upright, jump, once you get on this part, jump up to this pipe, down, down right to this pipe, hold down right, walk around the corner, miss this boo, down. So now there's a flower up here you can get now or you can get later. I'm not going to get it because I got the jump. So if you miss the jump, this is the backup. And the rack came back. You can run Japanese if you want to, um, but, you know, it's good to get familiar with the game, I guess, to kind of know what's up. And this is Panderite. Panderite can screw you over, but um, all it takes to kill him is three jumps. Jump, defend. He's going to do flame wall or flame. Okay, jump again. And then this is where the luck comes in. Okay, so if he does a physical attack, you should be able to block it. Um, but he can also kill you, kill Mario, or fear Mario. If he kills Mario, you need to pick him up with Mallow. Okay, you get the pin, don't worry about that. And just come up here, jump up, jump over this rat, and then jump back, go down this pipe. Now there's a star here, and we have to get eight enemies. Okay, so watch that movement through there. Hold left right here. Hold left, you don't fall in the water. Get three rats, jump in, jump over, get the swag, swag rat. Level three, special for Mario. Okay, down through the pipe, hold left. 
Go up these stairs, watch out for the boos. If you run into a boo, it can take a while to uh, run away. So be careful. Down left, go in the pipe. That fish can hit you. Get this mushroom, very important. I'm gonna save. And go, uh, watch out for the boo. Go into the pipe and go to Mallow. So yeah, Corellius brings up a great point. As stars give you experience based on which star it is, not the enemy. And so for this fight, you want to always start Jump Thunderbolt. And then two, a couple things can happen that are that's outlined in the notes. And you want to time this. So you can use a D-pad, and then he says three things, and then he licks Mallow. Miss, Jump, Honey Syrup. Okay. So if you mess up the stars that could throw off your experience uh, route, you're really not in danger of ever missing the um, the shocker um, with any kind of experience flaws here. But um, you can mess up like Mario's level for certain fights. So you really want to make sure your experience route is uh, is good. You just alternate uh, jumps and thunderbolts. If if Balone uses sleep sauce and puts somebody to sleep or kills Mallow, um, that's bad. And so you have to deviate from the route then. But for now, it looks pretty good. So yeah, if you miss one of the rats, like that could be bad. Um, I would recommend not doing that. <laughs> Um, it's not run ending, but it'll make life a lot harder to follow the route. So you want to jump twice with Mario, Thunderbolt with Mallow, and then jump final time with Mario. Sleep Sauce actually doesn't affect Mario if he's Scarecrowed, uh, because the Scarecrow is supposedly more deadly than the Sleep Sauce. You jump the final time, you time all of those jumps, don't miss time a jump. And he's done. Man, I am really bad at doing the splits. Attack level 4 Mallow. This is more an outline for me, I guess, of what to talk about. So missing the Swag Rat will actually um, keep Mario from being level 15 uh, later in the game. Alright, so here, pick the second option, and you want to go left. You want to get all the frog coins, and you want exactly 60 coins. Now, if you just don't feel like counting, just get all the coins. It's no big deal. But I try to get 13 on the first screen, not including the frog coins. So, one. Frog coin. Don't miss the frog coins. You can miss the regular coins. That's three, four, five. Frog coin. Six. Seven. Eight. Frog coin, 9, 10, 11, frog coin, 12, 13. And that way, you don't want to get any of the last coins in each of the rows. Pick the second option here. Okay, so you want to get the first coin, and then bump, and then get three coins. Don't get the last coin. Now if you're new to this and you're just like, I don't care about one text box, I'm gonna get all the coins. I might get it by a fish. That's totally cool. It's better to get the frog coin and get the text box than not to get the frog coin. So if there's four coins in the row, you can skip the last one. It's called the swag rat because it was called the it was swag in the other route in the previous route, but now it's actually important. So you want that swag rat? Yep, exactly. Swag rat is a legacy term. So yeah, get the coins when you jump over the fish. You don't have to do anything but push B here. Nice. That should be exactly 60. 
And there it is. And this guy gives you a frog coin and a knock knock shell. There you go. Okay, so we go up here, run around the stone and back on. It actually helps with the camera. Mash A here, but you also have to jump. So make sure uh, you're jumping during this tech scene as well. Or this cutscene as well. Alright, we can go through more questions here. I want to speedrun this game, but from what viewers have said, my timing for super jumps is off due to Dazzle DVC100's natural input display. Can you confirm this and or possibly offer an affordable solution to this issue? It probably helps to note that I can perform super jumps well on my TV with lesser issues. Okay, so I'm going to tell you that I actually use a Dazzle DVC-100 to use my capture. And so I use splitters to um, capture uh, the game from my TV to my computer. But I don't stream directly off of uh, the... Um, or I don't play off of the capture. So you want to um, try to get some splitters. You can get them for a few bucks off Amazon or something. And... Um, uh, yeah, hook it up that way. There's uh, tutorials on the internet for how to get that working. Uh, we'll cover the minecart later. Is the lazy shell run or required in a run where you don't get the super suit? It's not required, um, but it would make it a lot easier. It costs about three minutes. Here, you want to always pick the down, the uh, bottom one. Um, don't pick the top one, or he just repeats a bunch of text boxes. I stick with CRT for classic games. HD can have lag, uh, and that'll mess you up, especially in this game where you have very small frame uh, timing base or uh, timing windows. So here, you just mash A, check chat, do whatever you want. There you go, Jay Coper also has a solution. Okay, so here we're gonna get Mallow and we're gonna leave. Now you need to talk to Frog Fuchsius later to get the froggy stick. Let's jump across here and we have to go up to the shop to buy a few items. Okay, so talk to this guy, and you're going to buy two froggy drinks. Now, you can buy items with A or Y. Okay, so what I do is I open the buy menu, and then I push A, Y, X to get out really fast. So watch. Just like that. You buy two, and you're out. And when you're playing beginning, you want to get two sleepy bombs and one energizer. Make sure you don't buy more, because that's just more frog coins you have to get later. Okay, so two sleepy bombs, one energizer. All right, and that's it. Okay. Roseway, pretty easy. Just some standard platforming, no fights. Hopefully no fights. You can jump on these blocks uh, to reactivate them as they land. Get this coin. It's a little later than you think. Don't get hit by these bandits. You may die. Jump over that guy. Uh, so get that top coin and get this bottom coin. You can save time by jumping before it stops. You don't need any of these coins, but I get them just for show. And then hold right, upright. What is a good time? Fitter Space asks, "What is a good time for this this game with beginner strats?" Well, I don't know. I would say if you're under four hours, you're on your way to speedrunning this game. 
no matter what route you use. Use a beginner route. It might be four and a half hours for like a first first time. My first completed run of this with Chad Game Overs and no super suit took me like six hours. So, all right, that's it for uh, Roseway. So here, all you do is hold right at the beginning. Just hold right, hold right, jump over the bush, and you have to come up here into this chimney. Get the flower. You can. What you want to do here is run off and jump when you hit the ground. Get the frog coin, and then you have to talk to the, the toadette to get two wake-up pins. I up, 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 two wake-up pins. Run out, jump over the box, get on this toad, go up here, two flowers. Stairs are interesting. You can walk up the stairs, or faster, you can just jump from the side, and it'll go in. And you need this frog coin on the bed. That's called the task bed, where you just uh, get it and jump off. Down, run around here. In here, we're in Gina. Oh, Mario uses a super jump attack. As the doll. Alright, another question. Bitter Space also asks, how does this game compare to Paper Mario in terms of execution? I do not know the answer to that because I've never run Paper Mario. Here you want to select the second option. Wrong number. very easy to whistle to. I recommend it. So right here, as soon as the screen starts fading out, you have like a minute and ten seconds to do whatever you need to do. So I'm gonna go get a Coke Zero. Ice cold too. That crisp, clean, refreshing taste. Coca Cola Zero. Listen to that goodness. All right, so by this time, you should have been able to use the restroom or go make a sandwich, uh, get a drink, whatever you need to do. But there's really no more bathroom breaks in this game. There's a couple that are close, but not really. So every runner's used it. You should use it too. All right, so here, this is where it gets tricky. After this, you want to get out of the bed. If you're new to this game, just come over here and save. Don't try to be crazy. Just take three seconds and save. Or five seconds. Okay, run down. And then advance these text boxes. You can't leave until Gaz, uh, Gaz's mom takes him out of the room. And you can just stand here. You don't even have to hold down and you'll leave. Gaz gets dragged away and then you just hold down and run out and then out the exit. Alright. Rose Town. Is done, forest maze time. First thing you want, Kira Cola. If you use your mushrooms for some reason, you can get this mushroom, but I'm not gonna get it. Um, but make sure to grab this Kira Cola. Now, Wiggler jumps are tough. I'm gonna try to get every single combination. But what you wanna do is you wanna stand in this little nook here. You can, not here, not where you're on top of the leaf. You wanna be like in the leaf here, okay? So the Wigglers, when they come out of the, um, the stump, they're gonna turn right now. That's when you jump, uh, and you just jump to the left, just straight to the left. Uh, watch him turn, and then I'm gonna uh, get on his head, like that. 
And then there's six patterns that he can give you. And you're just going to have to spend a lot of time practicing. If you run into them, um, they have Sandstorm. The mushrooms can turn you into a mushroom. Um, they're bad. These coins are also important. They go into the route. And uh, they can actually, if you, for some reason, don't get, or if you try to skip frog coins or get them elsewhere, you're going to need more regular coins. So make sure you... Um, uh, get coins elsewhere somehow But it just takes a little bit of practice and you want seven of these if you buy two sleepy bombs, which you were Hopefully you're gonna do um, You can get these now there are a couple frog coins that are slower that you can get later um, One really easy one is the mines um, The there's one in Moleville mines, which I'll show you um, But this is the fastest known way to get frog coins. Uh, I missed it. Oh my gosh, no! How many do I have? I have one more. I need one more. Just hold Y this whole time. Okay. And then go down the stump. Alright, here, up right. And then hold right. Hold right, hold right. If you do it as soon as you get in, um, it won't mess you up. Now here, you want to get around this tramp uh, stump and get the frog coin. If you do that, you can make it out without the bee getting in your way. Up left, up left, up left. Now this is important. There's a wiggler here that can throw you out of this cave. But there's a Kirokola behind him that we need. So what you do is you walk, like when you land, pretend I just landed. I just landed. Hold up, walk into that, and then hold up left. And you walk right past him. And then it's just behind him. And then you run into him because it opens the, the door. Okay. Go up through here. This wiggler cannot hit you, so just go into the stump. And then here you just want to hold right. As soon as you, and then up right, and then as soon as you get around that corner, just hold down. And then down right. Down right, down right, right, down right, jump on the trampoline. Now here, I would save again, um, just in case, because Bowyer can't actually kill you. So when you're starting out, just save again. Save often. Grab this red essence. There's a red essence here, you definitely need it. Grab that. Follow Gino wherever he goes. So it's to the right, it's the top, it's the top again. Watch out for these bees and mushrooms. This one, he doesn't show up, but it's the right one. And then you go top and then left. So this is a really long cutscene. Um, I would, uh, you know, just mash A. That's all you gotta do. Right, another question here. Does practicing on emulator for movement purposes yield the same results as practicing on console? And does the same apply to timed hits? I would not trust, again, I would not trust timed hits on the emulator, but in practicing movements and menus, I would definitely trust. So that, hopefully that answers your question, Solus. Bitterspace asks, how often do you practice SMRPG and how did you get so good at the game? I practice this a lot. Um, and I guess pra practice pays off, so. Um, I don't know, I think it's just practicing different scenarios, remembering the route, knowing what to do if you make a mistake or if um, uh, fights don't go the way you're supposed to. I memorize the entire route, excuse me, except for like one part, um, the gun yoke fight. <laughs> and that leads into the next one. What's the best, ray, best way to recover from botched boss, boss strats? It really depends on the boss, because some bosses can just kill you. Um, so, Solus, what boss uh, were you talking about in particular? What's up, Yokohama? This is another um, cutscene where you can use the D-pad.
I'm just using A, but you can mash all of them like this or whatever, however you want to do it. I actually use X a lot for battles because I don't use X that much. Alright, so this fight is extremely important, everything you do. If you mess up one thing, you can die. So you have to do this correctly. It's timing it isn't is bad, isn't bad. So like going fast. So here for Gino, you need to attack first. And when Gino's arm goes back, um, that's when you want to push it. So I'm gonna say now whenever I do it. Okay. Now. Okay, he does 40 damage first one. Next one, time jump with Mario. Next, uh, Mallow uses Energizer. This is always the same. Energizer on Gino. Don't use it on Mallow. I always try to time the freebies, but it doesn't really work. So. Okay, so here you want to attack again, and you want to see 60. Now. Oh, God, see, that was, that was late. So this is a good example of what to do when you mess up. Hopefully, it doesn't matter. And you want to time punch from Mallow to get two. That's important. Okay. So he uses Static E. He can use Static E, Bolt, or... Uh, I think that's it he can use on the first turn. Um, but after the first round, you want to use Geno Beam. And you want to hold Y and let it go when the third star appears. And here you want, if uh, if Gino, it's listed in the thing, but if he's a static E, he's a froggy drink. And then use a honey syrup with mallow. Okay. He's a static E again, great. It's everybody again. He's Gino beam with Gino all the time. So for this strat, I defend with Mario and use a Mushroom with Mallow. You always want Geno at full health after this part, so he locks X, so you can't heal anymore. Geno Beam again. Defend, defend. Oh, got a sweetness. Uh, I can win the fight now. Actually, I need Mario to not die, or um, I'm gonna have to do one more attack. So here you have an option. If Mario's alive on the last one, you have six FP. You can attack with Gino and jump with Mario. It's actually faster. And since I was able to do this, it covers up my mistake from earlier. Okay, Alan M says, you should likely rotate the D-pad while holding the button for D-pad. On the off chance, you miss time the text clear for it. Right, that's a good point. You wanna do uh, a uh, special four for Mario. So yeah, the way yes, the way he locks buttons is based on your um, your moves and like attacks and special attacks go towards a counter and like if your counter reaches a certain point, he locks a certain button. Um, so if just Gino uses Y, so like don't attack with Mario thinking you're gonna do extra attacks. Exactly, don't get greedy. Um, you just want to use the ones outlined in the uh, in the uh, guide. <laughs> What's up, Countdown? Congrats on your PB. But yeah, one time in, in the 100% run I did, I didn't attack with Mallow, and he locked Y on turn two, and then I couldn't use Geno Beam, and I was pretty much screwed because he put everybody to sleep. So this during this, you don't have to mash. Um, you can just take a, bre take a breather from beating an, one of the RNG bosses.
All right. So Gina joins the party. Sweet. And then we got the derpy arrow up here. He's going to leave and tell Smithy what he found. But we're done here. On to the next thing. You can also jump for fun. And we're going to Moleville. Okay. Jump over the bush, rock into the shop, talk to the shopkeeper. So here you're doing a lot of buying and equipping. So this is actually an important menu because you only have so many coins now. But you want to buy each of the weapons. And you want to buy four work pants. Okay, B to go out. Equip. Uh, here, to do a fast equip here, I just do um, A and then like kind of like right down at the same time. So just kind of watch it and, uh, and you'll see what I mean. Okay, so you want um, you want those equips. Punch glove on um, Mario, work pants on everybody, symbols on Mallow, finger shot on Gino, and the wake up pin on Gino. <laughs> uh, that's a good fact. All right, mash text here. And now we go fight Krako. Just hold up, get in here. And we're mashing A again, so... There's a lot of points in this run where you just mash A. Okay, and these guys... God, this is... Text in English is so long. Okay, so jump on this guy and then here. So this next room is pretty important because you can run into stuff. Um, you want to just run in and hold right or uh, down right and um, and avoid this uh, rock. And then this, there's a Sparky that can actually spawn. Go this way, jump on the trampoline. You can run behind that signpost. Okay, so Krako takes your coins. Um, just jump on top of this box and then walk over to the left. And it'll uh, trigger the cutscene. Hold left. In the next room, just hold left. Jump over this guy if he gets in the way. You always want to enter like in the nearest part of the exit. So like, don't walk all the way to the bottom. Here, just hold down right. You can run around the box or you can jump over the box. I don't like to jump over the box. So this fight is pretty pretty terrible. Rocco causes misses and um, he uses bombs which insta-kill Mario and Mallow. Um, and he has a 66% chance to use a bomb. So you always attack with Gino. The timing is like when his elbow's extended. And you want like 65 to 70 damage. Jump with Mario. It's faster to use Punch Glove, but jump doesn't miss, so I would always jump. Symbols are weird timing as well. So he's using a bomb. This is going to kill somebody. It's going to kill Mallow. So the rule is you pick up Mallow uh, on the first turn. <clears throat> and then you get to attack with Mallow. And this is laid out in the pace bin if uh, if you need to. But you just keep attacking. If you were lucky enough to get the Energizer freebie, you would have used it with Mallow. Ugh, freaking Mallow. Oh, I should have picked Mallow up. It's cool. Okay, bombs don't kill Geno. So we're good. So now at this point, he can't throw any bombs. He throws time -able, or a blockable attacks. So you're in the clear as far as um, dying goes. 
So just learn how to block the attacks. Like I failed to do. But you just want to jump with Mario. Attack with Gino. This is at the top, so it's right now. But it's not when it hits you, it's at the top of the arc. You make want to make sure um, that's when you push A, so watch. See how early that is? Oh, if you're out of FP, it's fine to punch, but you can miss. That's why you use the jump. All right, so the Croco fight, you have a 25% chance to get the flower box right here. And we got it. How about that? That's actually going to make things a lot easier. All right, here, hold up. Walk past the mite, hold up, jump over the mite. Jump over this guy and the bomb. Hold right. Talk to this guy. <clears throat> Alright, so this is where the alternate frog coin is. You can come get this frog coin. All you have to do is just run in here and it triggers this guy. It costs about the same amount of time as a wiggler jump. Uh, and you can just pick it up, which I'll do just for whatever. And so next room has a star, and you need seven enemies. If you get 15 dogs, you only need um, six. But if um, if you messed up your experience at any point, it actually would help you to um, get some extra enemies. Okay, right, so you go in this room, jump over this bomb, and this chest has a star. Don't run into this bomb, that's bad. Like that. Don't do that. If you notice, when you run away, that if you get the star, you can't actually kill him with the star because he's like flashing invincible. So you want to make sure that um, he's not like flashing with the iframes. So get the um, get the star, and then you want to kill these guys like so. And you want that guy to appear, okay? So here you take uh, level 5 of Mario, uh, level 5 special, level 5 attack for Mallow, and then HP for Gino. This is very important. Don't pick attack for Gino on 7 and 8. Also, if you get this box, if you hit any coins out and then leave, the coin box will be gone. So you make sure you get all the coins before you leave. Jump over the bombs, we'll save. This is a mushroom to the left. Uh, this is a flower. You need this. You need 16 flowers at this point. We have 16. Jump over to get Punchinella. Otherwise, I'll push you back. All right, so this fight's pretty easy. You just attack, attack, attack. Just attack every time. Now you need to learn the blocks for the bombs, otherwise um, they're going to kill you. And the bombs are random whether they attack or not. Oh wow, I didn't kill. Holy crap. I can't block! This is bad. I'm gonna have to pick him up. See how bad it is? So now I lose a, a turn. I have to pick Mario up. And there's like no indicator that the bombs are coming. You just have to be ready for them. Oh really? I didn't even know that. Okay, so if he gets Sandstorm, you want to use an Able Juice on everybody it hits, which is everybody. Otherwise, your fight's going to take forever.
Okay, it has three faces. Yeah, it's not when the bomb hits you. It's a little lighter than that. Well, it is because Sandstorm, like, your your damage output on Bunt really doesn't matter until the second phase. Uh, it's more the defense for Bunt, but for this one it's just annoying because it slows you down. Alright, I've got more questions. We explained how to do timed hits for special flower moves like Geno Beam. So there's a few different um, type of timed attacks you can do, um, or timed special attacks. So like super jumps is just pushing Y. Um, the other ones are you can rotate the D-pad like that. So I like rotate it like that, or you can even use two fingers like that, uh, or you can use your thumb. Um, the other one is hold Y. Uh, whenever that third star appears, that's when you want to get rid of it. Um, other than that, you really don't have to use many. Uh, super f or Fire Orb, I'll explain when we get there. All right, next question uh, from Anonymous. You've mentioned before that there's a beginner route that doesn't require 100 super jumps. Would you recommend doing that first to get an overall feel for the game, or mastering super jump 100 is more of a priority? Uh, you can kind of mix mix it. Like, definitely practice super jumps, but you know, don't let that stop you from playing end game and just getting used to the timing and platforming. Um, super jumps basically take the RNG out of a lot of bosses. You don't want to. Um, you know, just say, I'm never doing super jumps. It's definitely part of the route, and getting a good time without super jumps is hard. Um, so I would definitely recommend learning the super jumps, but there are there is a route with no super jumps in place that I think Dorkmaster Fleck has put together with help from other people. Second option, and it's minecart time. LNR does the horn. That's the most important thing you need to know. Get the first mushroom, use it right away. Break around the corners. Actually, I don't think you need to break around that one. Get all the mushrooms you can. Don't use another mushroom here. Uh, you actually don't have to hold a direction, but I just do out of habit. You can use mushrooms early, like that. Here, you don't actually have to break. So you can use the mushroom before you round the corner. Um, but you want, definitely want to tap break before you... Uh, oh, I definitely bombed there. Before you go around the corner. Good time out here is 38 something. All right, so this route's tough. Mushroom right away, jump. Jump again, jump at the end. Jump a little bit later, it's hard to get that timing down. Go under. Jump, jump. 52 outs, pretty good time. Mushroom immediately. Break, get the mushroom, don't mushroom again. Break, mushroom around the corner, break, mushroom around the corner, break, no mushrooms, no mushrooms, mushroom here, break, jump, break, turn, no mushrooms here, you can mushroom here, you gotta break a lot for those double turns, um, you Mushroom after you jump over. Get that one. Mushroom here. Got to break early. Here you want a mushroom immediately, and you want to get all the mushrooms and coins you can here. This would be a good time, it would be like 158. 
You can jump over the edge here for swag. So here we're just mashing A. No big deal. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna fix the roof. Somebody asked, how do you get the god freebie luck? Um, good question. You probably have to just play this game a lot. Alright, so here, just run out. And now we're in another cutscene with the Sniffets. We'll do it. You can't do anything here, so let's enjoy it. Yep, this is gonna go YouTube, Twitch, everywhere. The website. This will be a resource for a while, I hope. Okay, when that's over, I wasn't paying attention. Just run out. All right, next, booster pass. Pretty important here. Run to, directly to the right, talk through the bush. You get a frog coin. Okay, this guy's very, this bush here is actually an enemy. If you run into him, you can't run away. Make sure you jump over him. Get this rock candy, it's very important. And you can just run through all this and booster pass is done. Nice, official. You should use this and other re runners as a resource. This is not the end-all be-all, but this is what would help me um, help me learn it if I was new. Uh, if you have questions, uh, there is a link right in the chat. Like, if you have a question, please uh, please ask it, and I'll uh, I'll answer them as we get to it. All right, so here, you gotta go talk to the door. Talk to the doorknob, run back. Bowser in this game is um, pretty confident that you're gonna go join the Koopa Troop. No problem, Richter. This is for all new runners, so um, definitely ask questions if you have them. All right, so here is very important. Do not pick yes here. Always pick no, okay? All right, so this is a pretty tough platforming section, but it's really fun. Jump over that Sniffet, that's an enemy. Come up here, follow that wall, and move down to the left so that boost you can trigger the booster cutscene. Hey, doorknob. All right, run to the right, and then up to the left, uh, up to the right in this corner, get a flower tab, down here. Now this, this is the easy way. Just kind of hug this wall, take your time, get through. Okay, don't worry about anything else. Jump on this switch, very important. Okay, you can get 8-bit Mario if you want, but don't in the speed run. Here, this is what I do. I come in and I hug the top wall, just hold up and jump, and then hold left and jump, and then hold up. You won't ever get hit. This is kind of tricky. Um, in this room, what I do, is, or the fast strat, is to jump immediately when you come in. Like that, and jump out. Now you can also, if you come in and you're like, oh, I don't want to do that, it's too fast, just wait, jump on the black square, and then just, just kind of maneuver your way through it. Don't, you know, don't do anything crazy. down here. Now the platforming gets pretty tricky. So like, I jump in here and then hold right immediately. Okay? 
of up here. And you can actually like, you can jump in there if you want and just go, but faster is doing this like that. Faster to go that way. Or you could just jump, uh, jump down and then hold left and you can get in there. So uh, there's a mushroom here in case you got into a battle. Jump on this, hold left here. You won't run off, get this frog coin. You want to jump back to that wall. Okay, because if you do, if you do, and you're fast enough, the sniffit won't be in your way, and you can jump up here. Up up here, that sniffit doesn't move. Frog coin back here. And this guy won't actually hit you. You can do this. And then he won't hit you. I think Sean Cass told me that. This room really sucks. It's called the checkerboard room. There are um, bombs everywhere. But you can avoid them with a good route. Hopefully I'm going to do that. So I just jumped over a bomb, there's no bomb here. And then there's a bomb before this frog coin. Okay, so you gotta jump over that. So just follow that route, practice it, it's tough. If you run into a fireball, you can't actually escape. Uh, you can kill him, and what you would do is just defend, defend, and then use thunder, an untimed thunderbolt with Mallow, or a time thun just use a time thunderbolt with Mallow and he'll kill him. Checkerboard room is very tough, so definitely practice that. I don't know, Sean just boards it all, I guess. Alright, so there's a um, a chain chomp here. He can't hit you. So don't just don't go to the right. Just go up left and get out of here. Okay, so if you got into an encounter with a fireball, there's a mushroom in this corner. Make, make sure you get that, that's very important. All right, so this, what I try to do is line up on this middle, like if I come in the room, I line up on the middle of these tiles. Okay, and then you need to jump on top of this treasure box. It's actually a pretty tight window to get up there. Um, and then you just get this, this is the goodie bag. You definitely want this. And a frog coin. And then we leave. Okay, we don't do equips yet because we don't have the amulet. Hmm. It's kind of funny, this pace isn't terrible. I'm like 25 minutes behind pace. Or maybe 27 minutes. And uh, I stopped and explained everything a lot. Yeah, I would definitely save. If you pass a save point, just save. Don't... Don't, you know, early on, just save. It's it's better. Uh, this minigame, uh, you can fail, and it really sucks to fail because it wastes a ton of time. And um, if you fail it three times, you have to fight Booster. But the order of this uh, minigame is always the same. It's always, um, this is always the first curtain, this third one with the Mario doll under it. It's always just kind of hang out down here early because this is the third curtain he goes to. So once he opens that one, I just get to sit behind it because he doesn't come back to this one. Okay. Second guy goes to the second curtain and we go again. Go down one. Down one again. And these guys actually shift. You can stay at the bottom, and then these guys team up and go faster. So once they close it, run past it. Always the same pattern. It's got to be here somewhere. Top. Bottom. Second. Third. And they fake you out here. Go to the bottom. And then go to the one with the Mario doll. The booster finds Mario. Oh, the sorrow. Alright, so here you gotta jump, so make sure you're pushing B as well.
Here we get the amulet. It's actually pretty important. Password, always LCC. Alright, so there's another menu here. Uh, that we need to get. Alright, we need to do. First thing you do, up, switch. Switch Mallow and Bowser, go back out. Amulet on Mario. Work pants, wake up pin on Bowser. Okay, this fight is kind of tough. They can screw you over. So the first thing you do, attack, knife guy. Try to get a good roll. 70's a good roll. Blocking these attacks sucks. Second thing, terrorize with Bowser. I use the two finger method on the D-pad. Okay, I got both of them, that's good. So now, Mario uses Fire Orb on Knife Guy, okay? So the tapping is something like this. I'm gonna try to do it like this. That was pretty bad, 284 is really bad. Uh, I'm gonna try to do it again. So I'm gonna attack him again, uh, just because of the low damage output. So I can get um, Knife Guy out. But Bowser needs to attack Great Guy, uh, and then we'll use it again. That was a bit way better. So that's when Knife Guy should die, is whenever uh, Mario uses the second Fire Orb. And then, uh, usually Mario would just defend here, but since uh, Gino had to attack Knife Guy, you would just attack with Mario. Yeah, you definitely, there's a rhythm to it, so you definitely want to get, um, uh, you want to get a rhythm, so, um, if you mash too fast, yeah, you're going to lose, uh, some of those hits. Okay, got a flower jar. Also, if you buy too many items, you can not you can miss that drop, that flower jar drop, which is actually pretty important. So this is the most stressful part of the entire run is getting these flowers. To do the route without going way out of the way, you need eight flowers. Um, and this just takes practice. I'm gonna try to get as many as I can. I only got eight in my run last night, but um, say no here. First one's free. They come down the middle here uh, at the beginning, and I still missed it. Um, but the the box is to the left a little bit, so it's not like down the middle. Where it's like it, it looks to farther to the right, but you want to be a little to the left. And then this is random where the barrels come. Uh, the timing's the same, but the uh, location is random. So you have oh wow! So you have to. Um... Oh, God, how did that even happen? You have to kind of get used to any pattern that you see. Ah, oh, you dog. Please. Oh man. Good tutorial. back on the right track. What's up, Andy? Yeah, I did for this run. Or this uh, tutorial, just so people could see it. I think we recovered. I think we got 10. Stand in the middle here. And we got 10. Good stuff. Up these stairs, jump over this guy, and talk to this toad out here.
Okay, you gotta go in the back door over here, so just hold right, and then loop around the corner. Hold left, down the stairs, hold left, up the stairs, left a little bit, and then up to the left. See how the camera doesn't move that much? You wanna do A and B here. Uh, and then you gotta just time the uh, run into the door. So just get next to the sniff it and run through the door. Alright, so here, the strat in the run is to just leave and then come back in. Uh, because it saves the text box. Bowser appears. Uh, don't talk to Bowser again. I'm gonna jump on the save. You should too. Run through at the same time. So now this part has a little randomness to it. The uh, Snivets can run around in any direction. They can jump over the uh, church pews and they can get, they can like change direction on a dime. So uh, you just kind of have to get good at it just by doing it over and over again. It's people's questions, so you, you can submit a question if you have a question about the speedrun. At any point, I got the sheet open so you can see it. Alright, so now I just run and I mash A with my uh, my knuckle on my thumb. And you just try to catch them and you have to talk to each one. Alright, there we go. And the last one's on Booster's head. Spoilers. And then you talk to Booster. You get the peach kiss if you get um if you get all the items and talk to booster before three candles are lit yeah so the theory of like the main overarching theory is to get enough experience to be able to kill the bosses quickly But yeah, this fight's pretty tough. Like, you need to learn how to block stuff, and you can basically just be unlucky and die, which sucks. So, they attack first here, or this first guy does, okay? You definitely want to block that. You attack, attack, attack. Definitely need to time them. Now, when you're doing this fight, like, you want to see 142 from Mario. Or you at least want to see like 130. Um, and then you want to get good, good rolls with Gino, about 150. And so Bowser, when Bowser attacks, you should get the cake moving for the first time. So what happens is whenever the cake goes under 200 HP, he will shake the first time and trigger this cutscene. Um, and then the next attack, or the attack that kills him, he'll go into candle phase. Um, so you here you want to use a red essence and not kill him. Red essence on Mario. Nice. Okay, so now you want to attack with Gino. You really need to time it, otherwise you're going to be in trouble. If you do this, because the cake goes before Gino and after Mario. So if Mario or Bowser kills or starts this phase. Then uh, Bunt will get one. Will get an attack sooner. 
So you want to um, definitely kill or start this phase with Gina. Okay, so to blow out the candles, um, you, all you have to do is a regular attack. You don't even have to time it. And now we we wait. You get the fastball. Two fastballs, unbelievable. So he used single attacks there, which is pretty lucky. I should have blocked it, but I didn't. Alright, Drain Beam sucks. Wow. Very, very fortunate there. So if nobody dies in the first three turns, then you kill Bunt. Uh, and then you have to fight the Raspberry. Grand Beam again, see you, Gino. Uh, you need to do 600 damage here. And so two Bowser attacks and two jumps from Mario will kill him. Except if he sandstorms, in which case you want to um, use an Able Juice on Mario. And then jump. Sandstorm again, that's fine. This Bowser can uh, pick up Mario. And then he can jump for a third time. This is whatever does all the damage to him. No big deal. Yeah, that was a really good kick. I think I got four physical attacks. <laughs> Booster says some really funny stuff here during the cutscene. Yeah, I agree. This this run is you have to make decisions in this in this fight. So here, Mallow gets level six, no big deal. And you run out. Yep, Mallow is no no big deal. All right, so after Bunt, you can kind of breathe a little bit. Like it's uh, the R big RNG is over for now. Now you leave, and you go back to Mushroom Kingdom. And here you want to go into the shop. Don't forget to go to the shop. And talk to this guy. Because he gives you the cricket pie, which you need to advance the story. There's not too many things you have to do, like, outside of the regular progression of the game to advance the story, but this is def this is one of them. Uh, you won't be able to go to Star Hill uh, without getting that cricket pie. So now we're at something called ABC, which stands for Awfully Boring Cutscene. So we just mash A for about five minutes. No joke. Another thing is, like, the uh, trigger for the screen transition starts way before the edge of the screen. 
So if you ever jump into a screen transition, this, it doesn't actually transition until you touch the ground. Uh, so if you jump, you're actually going to lose frames. So just walk into the screen transition to get it as early as possible. Yeah, if you're ready to go get some, a bite to eat or something and come back, uh, this is what you wanted. You definitely want to go now. Yeah, and thanks everybody for coming and watching. Uh, this may not be interesting to most people who've seen the run a thousand times or don't have interest in runs, but um, this will be a good resource moving forward, I think. You can definitely like perfect your whistling here. The Mushroom Kingdom theme is so good. It's like you're just getting ready to go on an adventure. Just starting your day off. And yeah, please ask questions if you have them. I'm probably missing some basic stuff, but I'm trying to go over everything. Yeah, your A button's gonna get worn out pretty fast here on these uh, cutscenes. Sometimes I switch to my index finger or my left hand just to give my right hand a break. Uh, I just combine controller parts. It's hard to replace controller parts for a Famicom controller. I tried to buy regular SNES pads, which look like this, um, but they don't work because the interior is a little different. You watch how I jump and I go over the, the border. See that? I'll lose time. Right here you walk back in because it's faster than waiting for Peach to hit the ground. And then you go talk to her. Uh, I have not speedrun Super Mario. I haven't even played it. I have not played SMRPG Revolution, nor have I played Armageddon for more than like five minutes. Alright, after that, finally ABC is over and we can leave. First, we need to go to Tadpole Pond to talk to Frog Fuchsius. Jump onto the stone. Faster. Talk to Frog Fuchsius. I try to go a little past the table, that way I can just walk straight down to the left, and um, or down to the right, and get the uh, item. You have to talk to him again to get Star Hill, or it won't open the uh, menu, or the, um... It won't open the map, map place. Alright, that's done. Now we go to Booster Hill 2. Uh, there's a bonus flower up here if you need it, so I'm gonna get it. It's right here if in case you don't get too many. So here you want to go down to the bottom part of this thing, so you don't run into that Sniffit. Don't run down the middle or you'll hit them. Flower there, frog coin, hero cola. Fall off a cliff, don't go back. It's faster to just do that. And then uh, just leave. And then we get a star hill. Okay. So here, hold up. Hold, hold left. Talk to the flower and go in. Alright, this is important because the movement of the enemies actually changes uh, depending on how long you're in the room and actually English throws off the timing a little bit too so depending on the version you're gonna get different that gecko's in the way um, and the Muku's in the way 
but you kind of just follow this pattern here and then you can you won't get hit by that if you touch the flower in time but if you're beginning don't worry just move to the side wait for the bandit to pass Getting an encounter in here is terrible. You're pretty weak still. Down. Watch out for that guy. Hit the star before you get the last flower. get a little more to drink. I'll be right back. If you get into an encounter, you always run away. Don't fight. So yeah, this cutscene is about 42 seconds, so you can make it to the bathroom. I've done it. Uh, it's very tough, though. Just run down here, talk to this flower. You're good. All right, Seaside. Best menu in the game. Come up here, get the experience booster first. So like in here, I always try to like walk up here and talk to the guy so I can just run straight. Uh, if I run here, I have to like go around him and it's weird. So, try to get on the side. Uh, yeah, the, um, uh, the fireballs in the checkerboard room are ones you can't run away, but there's others as well. Searching for the meaning of life. Definitely do not buy anything else but the experience booster, or you're going to have a bad time. Basically, your run is over if that happens, so don't mess that up. If you're really nervous, just save. Alright, so I'm going to save here. Uh, so I can do the menu a couple times. One I'm going to walk through quickly. And, uh, or this one I'm going to talk everybody through it. So I got the flower box. Um which throws things off a little bit, okay? So the first thing you do is you should have 300 some coins and you wanna sell items. Now, if you do freebie the red essence, it's different, but I didn't, so it doesn't matter. So you sell everything at the beginning. You can keep a pick-me-up if you want to, um, or you can keep a couple pick-me-ups if you want, no big deal. They're not gonna change your um, uh, they're not going to change your menu, but you want to go down to just one Kiro Cola. So you don't want to oversell, because if you oversell, you don't you don't get those coins. Okay, so you do that, back out, go to buy. One bad mushroom, one fright bomb, three ice bombs. Sell, sell the Kiro, go up, sell the goodie bag and wallet. Do not sell the rock candy. And you buy two of each, fire and ice. Sell box, jar, tab, buy, one ice, three fire, sell, tab, jar, equip, de-equip everything, uh, except for the work pants, put the experience booster on Mario, wake up pin, off. So here in the menu, you can actually, if you hit right, um, or like the wake up pin, these are bad examples. Um, if you hit right up, it'll automatically de-equip whatever it is. Okay, so make sure uh, right up is a quick, like, see how fast it is? Okay, so amulet, go down twice, take the glove off of Peach, put the poker dress on Mallow, symbols off. Back out, sell weapons, sell everything, A and Y. Okay. Back out, buy, to ice, to fire, if you have enough for a bad mushroom, buy a, a second bad mushroom, okay? Now I actually have an extra flower box, so I would sell it just at some point and then buy two more ice bombs. 
I would I would recommend saving a lot until you're comfortable and don't fail and don't mind resetting. Definitely save. Uh, you can reset the game using LR select and start at the same time. So I'm going to show you that menu again really fast. Hopefully I do it correctly. I do have the flower box, but... Oh, I way oversold. I was like making sure my hands were in the camera. But don't do that. That's what you don't want to do. Yeah, if you're nervous you're going to oversell, you can just come into the inn and save. Okay, well, then I would sell the or get the extra ice bomb. Uh, I forgot to do that. All right, that's it. All right, so now this is very important. Make sure the experience booster is on Mario. We're going to save just for fun. All right, so now this is where the first or the second glitch of the game comes in. Um, but what you need to do is you need to get the star, and you need to kill all of these guys. There's a lot. There's some in the next room as well. You need to get to this last guy. You have to get this one and this one. You get if you get this one, then you get Shocker on Peach, which is important. But this one gets Mario to level eight, so you definitely need all of them. So the trick is here, you want to hit B then X. So it's like DX, BX, BX. It's very easy, because if you look, you can open the menu while Mario is moving up. Like that. Because there's like a little fade out. So that's why the swap glitch works. So yeah, if you haven't done this before and you're in a run, if you mess this up, basically your run's over. Um, and I would save definitely like Dork Master Flex says. So do this. So what you can do is switch. Okay, so you have un unlimited star power here until you back out of the menu. So you want to switch in, or switch Mallow and Peach here. Okay, and then you want to get all the stars, so here we go. Okay, that was it. So now your, um... Your, your level up bonuses are listed in the um, in the guide. So just check that out. Um, but I'm giving everybody the right experience. Make sure you give Gino HP at 8 or he will die. Uh, this is actually Mallow. And this is Peach. So Peach learns Shocker. That's it. Here you want to jump on the bottom sail and then up to the top faster that way. Of course I missed it, so it doesn't matter. Uh, watch out for these ghosts. They can spawn on the bottom floor and run into you. So you have to really be careful. I always kind of walk out of the way. There's a flower behind here, and it also changes the rats. Um, if you just go straight down, they will. you can run into them. So always get that flower, even if you have enough. Just down left here, don't worry about it. Just up right here. You will not hit this guy. Okay. I always do my equips in here. Uh, you just put the booster on Gino and then on Peach. And then the order is four, two, three, two. Alright, easy fight here. Uh, just have to learn how to block the tentacles. It's when it's at the top, the tip top, right now, Let's see? And then we just firebomb. 
I timed the freebies, but it didn't work. Yes, that's how you teach attacks to other characters, so... Yeah, there will be a lot of explanations. The couch will do it. I'll probably just be focused on playing the game. You cannot time freebies. It's just something that I try to do. You really can't do it. Unless you believe. Ah, there it is. I always press X whenever you, uh, whenever the text, the numbers stop moving. into that dry bones jump over this bill and then land on this bullet bill or jump over him either way all right jump over this rat don't hit that rat all right the clone room's tough so like basically mario jumps whenever his clone jumps but if you hold a direction and jump like if you're out of if you're running i think uh, i think of like if the line of sights mix uh meet up i think that's when he jumps but i don't know so you gotta jump on his head and then get the Kira Cola here. He used to not get this. He used to, it used to be safety. But now we get it. Okay. There's a mushroom there in that left chest. Don't hit this one. That's a boss. You used to get those frog coins down there. You don't anymore. Watch out for that. This second fish on the right can actually run into you. Alright, this next room's kind of tricky. What you want to do as soon as you enter the room, just hold right. Oh, excuse me. That was incorrect. Oh my goodness. I think I saved. I have no idea, actually. I'm pretty sure I saved, but whatever. Let's ride it out. Nice. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, this hallway sucks. So we're gonna go in, down right, and then right. Jump over this fish, or starfish. You have to watch this fish there. He will screw you over. So you just have to get good at that room. Back here, get the safety ring. This is important, don't forget that. Bottom barrel, middle barrels, here. All right, now we're gonna do equips. Um, first you switch in Peach, then you go up to equip, and you can buffer your movements too, so like, watch how I hold up. See how it goes up, like, faster? Then if I just um, uh, went back and then held up, it would kind of pause there a little bit, so buffer your inputs. Okay. Staticky underwater, that seems like it would be bad. SNES 9X is good. Alright, here we use firebombs again. I'm gonna get this mushroom. There's a mushroom here if you did get into a fight. Firebomb again, push the button, get your freebie. That was a frame off. All right, everybody takes attack here in this uh, uh, level up screen. All right, so now you have to equip before you go to Johnny. Make sure to do that. Put the amulet on Gino. I mean, the experience booster on Gina. 
All right, so now the jumps. So if you're not doing 100 super jumps, um, there's a few ways you can do it. But the main thing is you want to boost Mario. Um, but I'm going to do the 100 super jump route, hopefully. And then use a Sleepy Bomb with Peach. And now we do 100 super jumps. And I'm going to have you, I'm going to let you uh, watch it, hopefully, if I can uh, get the camera situated here. Here we go. And I dropped. <laughs> uh, it's weird sitting like this as well. Usually I sit differently. But with the Sleepy Bomb, everybody's asleep, so uh, you can get a couple tries. Oh my god, I dropped at 93. And I just realized I had the wrong headphones on, so like these are slightly delayed. So I'll have to do 100 on Belem now, but that's where you would do 100 normally. It's not easy. I'm gonna put the correct headphones on. Because I'm not using uh, save states. I basically stopped using the emulator anyway. Yeah, I drink water. Uh, time save for freebies is a lot, actually. I'm just mad I have to do 100 super jumps on Balloon or Jagger. No, I didn't get the 100. Alright, so here all you do is uh, just mash A. Nice tutorial. Didn't even get the super jumps. But this may happen to you as if you're learning the game, so that's why I did it. Yard is not a backup option because he's not weak to jump. Um, so you, you you can use it on Balloon too. I mean, you can use it, but Yard is not weak to jump. He basically will do like 400 damage if you do 100 jumps. So I would recommend not doing um, not doing the jumps on Yard. So you're like, crap, I missed my super jumps. Now what do I do? So the first thing you do, boost Peach. Don't boost Mario. Defend with Mario. Docker. You want to see 243 there. 243 is good. Uh, ice bombs are the most useful. So you always buy more ice bombs if you can. Ice bombs always save time.
to time it before you hear the loud clap. Not Gino, not Gino. Hail Mario. I didn't get a. I didn't get one mushroom. Yeah, he only has rock candy on the Axum Rangers. So the last shocker should kill Yared. So just follow the route there, that's pretty easy. Yeah, Tass uses rock candy only, it's really fast. Pick up this key. Drop down to the shed. Got to push A to unlock the door. Smash A, you get the flower box. Uh, you cannot buy rock candies directly, no. So he gives you a flower box, pretty good. Jump on that box, jump up. Talk to the elder. He could jump on the table as well. Got to go to the shop. Talk to pink guy. Buy trooper shell. Fairly gloves, double punch. Sell the flower box. Clip. Do those equips. And leave. Land's End. Save. Definitely save. You can die here if you mess up. So I would definitely save. Uh, you want to get on this block if you're just learning. You can jump in right away and get on there. And then there's a red essence. It's hard to get, but you like jump up to the right um, uh, from that block. But definitely get the red essence. There's a block here. Try to land on the block. And then he can jump. There's dogs in that pit. You try to avoid those. And here I wait until he circles and then I just go. Land on the front of the flowers. Or the side closest to you. And you get up there. Here you can jump farther out and skip a couple of the animations, but you can't fall off of here. So just try it. And here, Peach uses ice bombs on all the ants. No big deal. And then you gotta go in the same whirlpool. It's always these first two, so you know where to go here. Another thing is, like, if you get an item drop from, uh, from a a fight you will it'll put it in the menu at the same slot where your cursor was so you have to kind of adjust uh, once you start getting faster you'll notice it more so you have to just run into the ant Only A works there on the um, level up screen as well. I 
I don't need freebies at this point. I have three. I'm good. Alright, so we're gonna save. And then we're gonna do the stars. So these are this is pretty important. To do it correctly. Are you serious? Good thing I saved. That was weird. I missed that gecko and it threw me off. Yeah, please save. You know, if I can mess it up in the tutorial, you can mess it up in a speedrun. I'll definitely mention the death abuse. You gotta get that last one. The first star gives way more XP than the second one. Um, so you want to make sure you get that enemy on the bottom with the first star. See, Mallow just learned Shocker, so everybody can learn Shocker. So if you don't sell the flower box, you can't buy this star. And you would have to go back. So definitely sell the flower box. Take this route through the room. Uh, we don't know the reason. It has something to do with the experience booster, we think. Uh, so what you... Oh, sorry. So what you would do... Um, if you don't do super jumps, what you would do... Is... Um, you would do that, you would save before, like I did, kill all the enemies except for one, one dog up top, and then you would um, die, because in this game you keep your experience that you get when you game over. So when you game over, um, do that, and then you can, what's called death abusing, and you can just use those stars again to get more experience over and over. And uh, I did it like two times in my first couple runs. And, uh, you can get by without using the super suit. But you pretty much have to make up the route from there. So yeah, there is that delay. Um, you don't need any of these boxes. But yeah, there is that delay. Um, and you want to get this. Mm, I'm so hungry, I wish I had something to eat. So yeah, it's something with the experience booster. I'm not really sure. So I'm going to have to do a uh, 100 jumps here. Wish me luck. Right bomb first. We'll just boost Mario. Or I guess we can attack. It doesn't matter. I have to do 100, so let's see if I can get the camera in the right spot. Okay. Try again. Here we go. 
So the strats here are just to use Geno Boost on Mario or Fright Bomb. Uh, and then just keep attacking Bloom and don't let him keep um, keep two clones out. You want to make sure uh, the clones go away. What's up, Narsh? They come in here, talk to this guy. Hopefully he says we did 100. Hey, we did 100. Uh, you can also... I'll show you later. Um, next thing you do, you go up here and you talk to this star. Then you run down. Talk to Monster Mama. My phone actually rang during super jumps. I heard it. Like, what the heck is that noise? So yeah, you can go practice a boss on anybody. Um, the best boss to practice on, I think, is Johnny, because you need 100 there. Um, but probably, I mean, you can practice on any enemy. You can practice on Jagger, because Jagger won't kill you, and you get your FP back after you're done with Jagger. And Jagger's up in the uh, dojo on the top of the hill in this area. Yeah, so say you failed it on Balloon, you can come in and talk to uh, the Jagger, and I'll do that real quick. So in a speedrun, if you're just learning and you're like, I can do 100, but I failed my Balloon and Johnny jumps, you talk to this guy. Okay, talk to him. Sure. Uh, defend, defend, and then you super jump, and pretend I did 100, and then you just run away, and you get all of your, um, all of your FP and HP back. What's up, Pidge? Yeah, it's, it's a mental block, it's not something that you just can't do, it's just something that you, um, have to get used to. So we got the suit, we talked to Monster Mama, we can leave now. Jump from the switch onto the platform, onto the trampoline. Jump onto a block. Run up here. Jump on this guy. Don't get hit here. Make sure you jump over that whirlpool. Alright, the trooper climb is pretty free. You need under 12 seconds, I believe, to get the trooper pin. I can get under 11 every single time. Um, without an issue. You just have to know when to jump. Uh, and you can actually just hug the wall and you're fine, so... Ah, oh, I messed it up. Yeah, 10.43 with a double jump. You get the trooper pin, which is very important. And we're off to Bean Valley. So yeah, this first room, watch out for this bee. If he follows you, just loop away. Uh, because if he's you, you're probably in for a world of hurt. Um, at least Gino has the uh, super suit on. So yeah, don't get hit by the bees. Wait, and then go. Here you can walk. 
Because you have to wait for that guy to show up. First guy attack. Double punch is tough. It's now. It's like right when his arms start mo stop moving forward. Nice. Fast as possible first three phases. I hate them bees. So Mario, it doesn't matter now. You can once he uses that ice bomb, you're good. But this fight can actually kill you if um, you're not paying attention. Yeah, you definitely want to block things if you can. Next up is the vines. Um, all you want to do is sit down here as soon as the text boxes go away. I'll throw you in. And then hit the block. Hit the block near the bottom of the shadow so you walk less to the next... Um, or to the, uh, the spot where Mario starts looking at the vine. Alright, so these vines are tough. We're going to go over this a couple times. I'm going to jump on the front. Oh, the front... Okay. Jump to the yellow. And you gotta watch out for this guy. There's a way to get around him, but it's pretty tough. Um, the best way, the fastest way is to do this. Let's go here and jump from vine to vine and jump up the vines like that. That takes practice. So, just practice that. But it saves the animation of like switching vines. I messed that up. Of like hopping up the vine. You don't need those coins, but you can get them. Those are the vines. So this is Nimbus Land is so many, um, so many text boxes. So this is just mashing, mashing, mashing. So yeah, it's like 40 minutes of this game is just pushing A, so there's not even that much execution. Any questions? I don't see any questions in the, in the chat, so I think we're good. Alright, cool. So in here, all you gotta do, chop. You wanna sell weapons. Now be careful. If you do this, do not sell the attack scarf. You wanna buy two, one, one, one. Flip. Like that. And you can learn those menus just by doing them over and over again. Tubby.
All right, so you want to talk to him in front of the stove. Don't don't like just run and talk to him because he makes you move over to the right. Uh, so just jump in. And, uh, say yes. Gonna be a statue for a while. So yeah, this is where the gold Mario emote comes from. I actually took a screenshot of my PB video and cut out the Mario sprite and put it in a PNG file. And that's what the Mario sprite is now, or Mario emote. Yeah, this is just like boring, boring mashing. But right after, um, you know, after this, we have the mini game. The movement is pretty tough. So here, you can actually jump on the statue, which is kind of fun, but it doesn't save you any time. It can only lose you time if you miss it. All right, so here, the um, Dodo cannot see you until he's about ready to peck you. So you can jump all you want. He does not jump on this one, or does not peck on this one. But he does right here. So you need to do that because you need the feather. I'm gonna do this quick and uh, I'm gonna, um, I have a video I'll play back which has good movement in it. Alright, so I'm just going to do the movement, and we'll go through it. Get this flower, go to the top, jump, because that guy can kill you. Hold right, jump over the fork, down left. Now another backup strat you can do is you can get this flower tab, or flower jar, from this uh, purple, sh purple shirt guy. It's very fast, like three seconds. Alright, just run left, and then jump over that guy. Uh, this is pretty tricky. You have to get into that without running into the Koopa. So I did that. Um, I'm going to uh, go back and show the movement again. This 
This is from my PB run. Okay. I'm gonna do 50% speed here. Okay. So the key is to um, uh, you want to stay on the second row here. Okay, so the second one because there's a shy guy and a fan that can hit you, and this bird coming up. It's pretty rough. Okay. So you see, you just go through there, and then the dizzy guy will come down and get you. So you got to be careful. So just get through the door, go to the top, jump over the shaman, hug the wall, jump over the fork, talk to the guy, run past the fork, jump over this guy. Run through the guys, around the pot, down through. Now here is tough. I don't even remember if I run into him or not. You just want to get, like, you can open the door here without um, hitting the trooper. You want to, like, open the door and squeeze by. It's very tight. If you hold Y, you have a very small window. Um, but if you don't, you're good. You gotta talk to the egg. Okay, so here, just attack, untimed attacks. And then boost Mario. Untimed attacks. Six untimed attacks, no big deal. You don't even have to block these. Um, so just attack with um, with Mario. Defend, defend. And then if you haven't done enough damage, you have to use a bad mushroom here. And that kills Birdo. Pretty easy fight. Can't really mess it up. Alright, so this part's pretty tough. It's called the fan skip. I'll show it once, hopefully. And then uh, replay it. Alright. Alright, so that was the fan skip. It's uh, pretty tough. What you have to do... Is... Um, Let's get through this real quick. All right, so we got through this. We're going to slow it down. Alright, now watch uh, how I move. Okay, so I move just a little bit to the right. See, I move just a little bit. And then I jump and hold up and Y all at the same time. And you get right over them. Wait here by the fork. And then go through. What's up? Stop right here. Alright, this room, all you have to do, when you go through, go through the transition, hold right. Okay, and then you get through the door. When you get to the top, like, as soon as you start going up to the right by the stairs, you need to switch to up and right. So 
It's really just fine. So super jumps are like, I feel like they're a mental thing. Like once you have the technique down of knowing when you're gonna actually um, hit the button, um, it's just getting over that, that hump. Yeah, the hitbox, no, the timing stays the same. The hitbox changes. So if you're using a visual cue, then the timing will change. Excuse me, the visual timing will change. The audio timing stays the same, however. Alright, this is important movement here. You come here, down right, through, down right, after the door, up to the star. Piece of cake. That movement can be tough, but those blue birds are actually very difficult to get by. Alright, jump on the trampoline. Jump on the next trampoline. Always try to land on the edge of the trampoline. It looks cool and it saves frames. So this fight can be scary if you don't have a firebomb, which I do not. Um, if you don't, hopefully you have a second bad mushroom, because what happens is... I would learn how to defend Dodo's attacks. So Dodo's attack, he can do two attacks that can damage you, and one that does not. Water Hush does not damage you, you don't have to do anything. So you have to use bad mushroom or firebomb, but I'm saving this for Axum. So bad mushroom which poisons Dodo. Multi-strike. Um, you have to block. And then you need to attack him twice to kill him. And you need to time both of them. Here, boost Mario. Oh. Just regular boost, not even time boost, doesn't matter. Wow. Valentina miss, very rare. Yeah, the bird is Valentina's hat. And her Hey Arnold face. She does a lot of attacks that don't really matter. The only one is Water Blast, which can kill Gino, and it like it's almost impossible for Mario to die in this fight. So just follow the route here. Not much to know. Uh, don't let Mario die, but that's almost impossible. All the misses. Dead and not found, yeah. Valentina dies, usually it's one less cycle. They get the miss with Mario. Chance of miss is pretty low. 5-10% maybe.
So yeah, more tech smashing. I mean, you actually get like 30 seconds here. If you need to take care of something real quick, there you go. Yeah, we're about to see the second star glitch, um, Chroma, Horma. Yeah, Mario, it does bring it out pretty sweet. Chorma, my bad. Alright, text mashing over. We can get this flower if you want. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I have a surprise for Sunday. So, uh, you're gonna have to stay tuned to find out what it is. I don't even remember what I said, to be honest. Alright, Nimbus Land on. Hold right, down right, jump over the, the hot spring for maximum speed. Alright, Volcano. Best, well, some of the best music and very uh, tough platforming. Down left and hold left. Jump, watch this might. Jump over this, watch this might again. There's a flower here you can get if you have less than 28. Uh, jump over this. So here's a second swap glitch. Uh, and you want to swap, uh, swap uh, Gino and Peach. Oop. I messed that up. Okay, so that's your, that's your movement right there. And now you need to get eight. So get the first mite, got him. Don't worry about the spinies. If you get them, great, but get the cork. But I got to get these guys hold up. And uh, and there you go, you got all of the enemies that you need. You only need seven, I think, to get the swap. Or maybe you only need um, like five or something. But yeah, that gives you uh, the Geno Blast. So here, hold up. Now you're on this top uh, layer here, or top like row, and you can just run and jump, and you won't hit the fireballs. Jump to the first one and jump uh, towards the second dry bones. Uh, just hold left there. Here you can jump and get the box in one movement if uh, you do it immediately. I'm saving because it's right there. Now this. Stump it here is probably scary. You're like, oh god, how do I get by him? All you do is hold down right and you run past him. That's it. Jump early. So, like, that room is kind of tough. You need to, um, I'm gonna try to show it again. So, like, jump er right there on the front, jump on the front, and then jump over everybody. I took too long. Oh, stump it. What? What? Oh my gosh. That's a stump it. 
Alright, so here, there, um, the spinies can drop from the ceiling. And you can get into an encounter, just like that. And he actually stays on your head. So you gotta watch for those spinies. The strat here is just to use, um, Geno Blast. Pretty easy. See ya. Furious. Mario's level 15. So Mar level 15 is very important if you want to um, have an easy czar or an easier czar fight. Um, this is pretty tough. Uh, but yeah, if you do all the experience level correct, the experience route correctly, you'll have level 15 Mario at this point. I'm gonna switch uh, to Gina. I'm gonna do my equips now. Just in case I hit the stump it. I didn't. That's really tough. Like, you have to jump to this corner and then jump upright. Um, I can show it again in with my PB video. I think I'll do that. Alright, so this is it. So at this point, all I do, hold right at this point. You'll move up into this corner here where you can't hit stump it, but you have to jump around this little like stal stalagmite little thing on the floor. Okay. So you do that and then you jump up right and then go back around, you jump around the little spike like that. That's it. Avoid the guys here, however, and talk to Hinopio as far up as you can. Uh, yeah, it would change the color of the Geno Sprite, uh, just depending on um, uh, depending on the character. So you can use the flower jar here if you want, um, if you got it. Gives you more flowers and it refills just in case you mess something up on Zar Dragon. There's really no reason not to if you got it. It takes like three seconds to do it. Now, this room is pretty important, so I'm going to show you once and then I'm going to explain it. Oh, man, I messed it up. Okay. Alright, so now, if you mess up, you need to reset the room. Because then the fireballs will get back on the timer. So what you want to do is you want to full jump to this one. Okay. So, like, you want to enter, full jump, full jump, full jump, wait, full jump, full jump, wait. Just like that. And I'm holding Y the entire time. You can even like go to the next one, go like skip the uh, that middle one at the end. Like that. I just prefer to do it the other way. It's because I've shorted that jump before. Now the strats get a little difficult. This is the first boss where the hitbox changes on Zar. So you need to make sure that um, having ice bombs here is very, very nice. Um, first thing, attack. Hopefully you don't miss. And boost Mario. Ice bomb. Alright, Iron Maiden and Physical Attack are the two slowest attacks. You can't really, you can't do anything, you can't block these fireballs, they're just gonna hit you. Um, if Bowser dies, you have to pick him up with Geno. Um, if Iron Maiden would've hit Koopa, then you have to, uh, um, uh, if, well, no. Um, I can't remember. Iron Maiden hits Koopa. I think, oh, you use your Able Juice on Koopa with Geno. Okay, that's all you do. All right, so I'm gonna try to do super jumps here. This is a little tough, but I'm gonna try to do 44 super jumps, or 22, 
That's it. Alright, so if Gino and Bowser are alive for Zomba and they can attack. Uh, and you can do um and you can then then you just attack with Mario because Boulder's about to kill Gino and uh, Bowser. No, the timing is the same. It just looks like it's different. Visually, it is it is the same. Or um, visually, it's different. Audio or it's the same rhythm. So if you notice, the button pushing was the same. Pretty easy. Whoops. You don't need the Hurley Gloves on Bowser anymore because you don't need the damage. Alright, so this part, uh, can't really mess it up. All you have to do is just chase the Axum Rangers. Make sure you've done your equips, otherwise you can die. So just follow this path up the, uh, up the stairs. Try to jump as early as possible um, when you land so you can advance up the uh, stairs faster. New tech, indeed. Alright, so make sure your equips are good. Go fight the XM Rangers. Mash A. This is the fight you need the rock candy for. If you got rid of the rock candy, Good luck. So this is one of the few fights I have to look at the route for. Um, you need to... Um, there's different strats, whether you have just a fire bomb, just an ice bomb, both a fire and an ice bomb, or if you freebie the rock candy. So the first thing you always do is throw the rock candy, and then we see what happens. No freebie, firebomb. So pink dies, uh, and that's it. And then you ultra jump with Mario on black, and you have to hit each ranger one time. random which um, which one you get so uh, you just have to hit each one once you have to keep them going I've seen up to 40 ultra jumps before uh, which is kind of wild so ultra jump timing actually goes down to two frames not three frames it's pretty rough now, if you have an ice bomb this is where you'd use an ice bomb and I got a freebie how about that um, So at this point, you have to boost Mario. And you have to time boost it or he will die. Breaker beam is too strong. So you attack with Mario. You must time three out of four of these to, to kill him. Okay, so Gino dies. 
And now you have to just attack with the other uh, four moves that you have left. Yeah, I've pulled the stream up, uh, and I don't see any stutters, so I'm sorry if you guys are having connectivity problems. Alright, that's it for the Barrel Volcano. Hey, Pro Circuit. That's it for the volcano. Back to Nimbus. And we have to go through this cutscene again. So walk around those guys outside, go up through this left entrance, wrap around the corner, jump up on this guy. This is a flower if you want it. Uh, you can jump off the statue here, which is fun. Going this way. Most important camera manip of the game. Walk to the right, down, and then up. Is that super slow? It saves like an entire second. Yeah, man. I just wanted to get this tutorial done. I didn't feel like doing a speed run tonight, so uh, here we are. So yeah, they let you get the bus. Uh, so I'm going to show you the Nimbus Manip and I'm going to show you the Mario Pad Manip. Um, the Nimbus Manip is very, it's its its a lot tougher than the Mario Pad Manip. Um, so when you're done uh, talking to them, just leave this way. Yeah, I'll be on YouTube. Walk out, jump off a statue for fun, hold left, jump around. Go this way and jump on the save block. Okay, we're gonna save in our normal spot. And as soon as you hear the coin, you reset. Okay. The Nimbus with Pet Pad Manip is tougher and the Bowser doors are like a flow chart. So um, you have to do that. So I'm gonna show you once. All you do is hold left here, hold left here, hold down left here, Hold left, and then wrap around the corner there, and then talk to this guy as fast as possible. Now you want to mash. Um, I actually don't know if the English and Japanese versions are different. You may have to use an audio cue for Japanese, or for English. Uh, I'm going to keep mashing as fast as I can. The Nimbus Manip saves about 15 seconds. So over or over Mario Padman up. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I am not. Okay, that was the cue, it just went by. Um But that's how you would do it, and then you would push A at a certain time. Um but that's the movement, and then you you just have to look up the uh video. Um or I can just show it on my other stream. I guess it makes sense, I could just show it here. So check this out. I'm going to um, turn this volume on and I'm going to mute the uh, I'm going to mute this real quick. Okay. So now uh, listen for the audio cue here. Um, so here hold left, hold left down left, left, and then right when you get to that corner, up left, talk to this guy. Okay, 
And then once you get to, um, once you get to this point, there's an audio cue that happens. If you can hear the audio, it's right here. Now, okay, so like, it's right at the end of that, like, dun, 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 dun. right there, right at the end of that last note. That's when you hit the button. You have seven frames to hit the button. If you have perfect movement, you can also use this cloud touching the cloud platform as a visual cue. And so like right here is like the perfect time to hit A on the last text box. Okay. So that's it. Yep, there's the shorts. Um, so that's what you want to do for Nimbus Manip. Okay. That's it. All right, so now we're back here at Bowser. And um, we're going to go do Mario Pad Manip. So this is how you would do it. So leave, go to Mario's pad, and this will give you guaranteed Bowser doors if you do this correctly. So we'll save again, reset, mash A, you'll be on the same save file. So here hold down, 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 down. And then hold down right when you get to the bottom of that bush. And that's it. That's the Mario Pad Manip. Don't go to Vista Hill. All right. Let's run straight through Bowser. The first door. Go up. Jump over if they're there. Jump over the first Goomba. Run past the second Goomba. Jump on the middle donut platform. Run past the first Troopa. Hold right. Go through here. Hold right here. Jump over that Goomba. Jump over this Goomba. Run under the third Goomba. And that's it. It was pretty fast, but you can go rewatch the bod. Don't need an explanation. With the Mario Pad and Nip, the doors are always one, two, four, five. Okay. So this is the quiz. Don't need an explanation. I might actually miss this. Um, pressure. Sky Troopers. Soil, whips, uh, arrow, getting his picture taken. I thought it was 10, I guess it's 8. Red, 3, skiing season, cricket pie. All right, so counting the barrels is pretty easy, actually. What you gotta do is you have to look at this base, the base barrels. So I'm actually going to skip to my VOD and show you. Um, a little easier. All right, so I'm gonna show you um, how to do that. Right, so there's a trick to counting this fast. There's a reason we can do it in like a half a second. Okay, so the first thing you look at is this middle section here. Okay, so this is at most, this middle section, not counting this, this, or this, or anything up top, is going to be 12. Okay? So this barrel may be missing here, this front one, so that, you know, you have to adjust for that. So that's how I always count. So if the middle's full, it's 12, 13, 14, 15. That's how I count that. Okay, so on this stream, uh, we'll see. Let's see how fast we can do it. See how fast you can guess the uh, the total. It's you know what it is. And I and that see that was a good example because the um, the structure can actually change. That is in fact twelve. Now this one's a little tougher. So I'm gonna bring up the other uh, other video here. All 
All right, so this next one, you have to, you have, you have 20 seconds to count, but you can get it almost instantly. It's 46. I know that because this is 36 in the middle. It could be, it's 12 by three. So this one's missing, so subtract one, 35, 36. These are always four, 40, and then whatever's on top, 46. That's how you guess. 45, see? Because I know that the, um, the middle part's 36, so minus one, 35, plus five on the bottom, 40, plus five on the top, 45. Don't miss that, because then you'll have to do the quiz again. Alright, so this one, I think... Uh, I don't remember English. Okay, the same, I believe, is second place. So I have a strategy guide, <laughs> which I use for running English. I'm going to look it up. Okay. Right here, it says... Oh, the same is third place, okay? So Goomba's in third. Outroad Kip is first, okay? So 3-1, and then fell into fourth place is second, so 3-1-2. I don't even need to talk to the fourth guy. Or 3-1-2. Pretty neat. Get this box, rock candy. I'm gonna use a restroom. I'll be right back. First one down. Second one, coin box. Okay, well we don't want instructions. So the strat here is to always take four on the first one. Okay? Always take four. One, two, three, four. And then count what he takes. He took one. This is a good example. So if he takes one, my strat is to take one also. And then retreat. You retreat with A. That's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so he can actually screw me over. I'm gonna take one again, 11. You wanna take 15th. Okay, so he took the 12th. So if I take the 15th, I'm good. 16, and now since he took 16, you wanna take the 20th, so that way he has to take the 21st. Piece of cake. Yeah, you want to basically, if you take the 6th, the 10th, um, the 15th, then you win. Okay? Alright, so this one's pretty easy. 1, 2, 3, 4. Alright, Cannonball, there's multiple routes uh, through this. Um, I use an older one, but it's like less than a second slower than the optimal one. But I know this one so well that I'm not going to change it. So just learn, I, if you don't know this by heart, just learn the fastest one. Here you go. 
Get that. Mario Pabinet, go to four. Right, you need this chest, Fright Bomb. The rock can or the ice and then the rock candy. You can make this jump if you run straight to it and then just walk off the platform onto the other one. And you can shortcut that and jump there. Here you gotta jump early, get up there, get up here, jump over this barrel, wait, jump, 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 wait, and then go. You can actually run around DK, which is a little tougher, but it can save some frames. And then you wanna go in door five. And this is the slow on the platform. So you gotta wait on the first one. Jump, 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 jump. And that's it. Cannonball. You gotta watch out for these bombs. Just go past them if they let you. If not, you gotta get out of the way. Get that chest. There's another flower here if you need it. Hold right and jump on this one. Wait until it's below this chest, and then you can jump straight from this block to that block and get the flower without wasting any time. And set, so if you didn't freebie the Kiro Cola in the Yared fight, um, which I think I actually did freebie, uh, there's a royal syrup there. If you want that, you can grab that. I mean, that took a second to get, and it's a maximum maple syrup, so or honey syrup. Uh, the other ones, there's a firebomb in that one that's right by Mario. But, uh... You don't need that for the rest of the game. You need this last box, which is a Kiro Cola. Uh, the Super Slap is always behind the uh, action door. And then this one is the Sonic symbol. You don't need the Sonic symbol, but you can get it if you want, but don't get it, it's slow. So I'm gonna show you, there's two different ways to do this. So I'm gonna save. So I'm gonna show you the way I do it. I'm gonna show you the fast way, which is the way it's in the route. Peach chart 1.07, that Albrecht Mill, they do it. So what you do is you go into your items and item sort. So what that does is it actually um, sorts your menu, the item menu in battle this way. If you never go in there, all the items you got would be in a random order within your item menu. So all you have to do is just go in, go back out. That's it. And then for this menu, um, you switch these, switch these, put the slap here. I think that's it. I think that's what you do. I'm not exactly sure, so. I think that's what you do. But you can check the chart. So you just attack, attack, fright bomb. And if you sort, the reason you sort is so you can get to the fright bomb easy. And so like you start here, whenever you pick item, you start on the first item. And so the fright bomb is always the last item you have. So you go left up. And it's Fright Bomb. That's it. So there's that one, and I'm going to show you the other one. Hey, Devil Egg. Yeah, I started. I did this tonight. Um, controller cam so people could see my movements. Thanks. All right, so I did, actually don't do the item sort first. Uh, I do it later. So if you want to do it the old way, this is how you can do it. Right bomb with the middle character always. Pretty easy fight, though. 
There's your split. Well, the the um the doors are in different orders, so. So there you go. That's how you do that room. Or that boss fight. Pretty easy. Floor looks clean, I actually need a vacuum. Alright, so in this, this is where I usually do my menu. Alright, so this next room, to get past the swamps quickly, um, I'll, I'll show you. I'm gonna save again, just in case. Alright, so there's a visual cue I use for this, um, and then I use kind of an audio cue. You don't need any of these coins, but they're there. So the first cue, actually I'll do it and then I'll show my video that does it. Okay, I made it through. Get up here. Start matching this text so you don't have to watch it twice. Okay, so perfect. All right, so what you're gonna do is you want to jump. I think it's E. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to jump from this point here. Okay, the, so like the beginning of that second shadow. Full jump. Okay, Mario's jumping. As you see the thwomp come down, jump again. As you see the thwomp come down, jump again. As you see the last thwomp come down, jump again. Oh, you have to, the last one, you actually have to kind of peel it out. And then here, you're going to see the big thwomp come down, or the little thwomp come down, jump again. Then the big thwomp come down, which is faster. So you have to jump again quicker. And then you have this last bullet that you just hold up and jump over. But if if you get hit on the floor, you get stunned by the thwomp, that bullet's going to be in your way and you have to go around them. So make sure you uh, you do that. Okay. Alright, Boomer. So you actually have to do super jumps on this guy, so we've forgotten all about super jumps. First thing to do, regular jump. Boost Mario. End. This doesn't matter. Boomer can't really kill you. Alright, you want to do 47 super jumps here. Seventeen sixty, that's the magic number you want to see. Somebody asked, um, in the uh, with the res uh, the chat or the uh, questionnaire thing, somebody asked about the max skip timing. Very inconsistent. Well, there's a video uh, that Alanim did, and a uh, pro circuit asked. Yeah, there's a video that Alanim made, and uh, I can link that in the uh, notes. This is it.
There you go. I would check this out. Okay. Watch that for your max skip needs. He goes over like two different routes, so or two different um, strats. All right, so this is the Xor fight. This is a really easy fight, but it's also very important. You have to jump on the left eye, and you have to time it. Do not mess this up. The left eye is the one on the right. If you're on Xor, you select select jump, push left, and it'll put you on the left eye, which is the right eye. Okay. Time it, 350 damage, gone. Now use Geno Whirl, pretty big window, the Geno Whirl. Billion damage. Easy peasy. You don't need uh, levels on Bowser or Mallow at this point anymore, so you can just pick HP. Xor dead. Bowser's keep done. Yeah, it's like stage left. The factory is a ton of movement, um, and knowing what to do if Countdown kills you. Uh, I'll try to go over the movement as I'm doing it, uh, but it's on a timer, so the enemies move on a timer, so I'm going to try to go quickly. So yeah, he's mastered the text, and then once uh, Gino joins the party again, you can, you can go. Up right. Two jumps. You can do three if you really want to be safe. So two jumps on the first one. Five jumps here. Full jump. Two jumps. One jump. And then you have to do that little sh oh, that little shimmy um, to get past the amoeba that's up there. Um, I was gonna show you again, but kind of messed up. So like you get off of this one, I'm gonna fall off. See if I can do it again. So you like go right above this amoeba and then you jump. And then you can do a, a zero hop there. Up to that switch, hold right and then upright. Uh, there's a mushroom here, uh, yeah, a mushroom there. And you can save. And the last big menu or equips here. Uh, you get the ultra hammer, and then I use the menu as I'm jumping, uh, and that's it. Pretty easy. It's a lot easier if you don't have, um, if you did the switch earlier. So I do one hop. So I jump and push right, and then jump. Oh, it's hard to do it slowly. Try it again. I'm gonna show my method. Okay, that's all you gotta do. There's also the two hop method, which is uh, very safe. And I will demonstrate. Two hop method is free. Um, you could just jump from here uh, and then get across. See, I can't do it if you go slowly. Pretty tough. One hop for life. And here's our boy countdown. It's very important you do the equips. If not, you're going to die. All right. So first thing, Geno Blast. Second thing, Rock Candy. Third thing, Geno Boost. Those never change. Always do that. Nah, this is not the hardest boss. Hey, 
Hey, you can block those circles. Um, that's what you want. Also, you want to get the bell on either Peach or Gino because they have status uh, protectors. Ice Rock on Mario kills Mario, so this is actually a pretty good, um, pretty good example. So, Gino blast again. What's up, Bello Ellen? And then Mario would attack the clock, but since he's dead, throw the rock candy. No freebie. So I'm gonna bring Mario back. My last pick me up. And this will actually give me an extra attack. Oh, I didn't put the Ultra Hammer on. Oops. This could be bad. Yeah, that fight can really mess you up. I wouldn't say it's the hardest boss. It has a lot of variations if you take damage. See, I didn't put the Ultra Hammer on. I messed up. I think that's it. So that's that. Oh, and then you're supposed to put the suit on Peach again. Alright, so this is a really technical, or suit off beach, really technical part in here, so I'm going to explain it. You're going to jump on the right side of the conveyor belt, run under, jump on this, jump, 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 jump. Here, hold, okay, here, hold right, and jump on the conveyor, run down the conveyor, jump on the edge of the conveyor, so the arrows don't hit you. And then here, you want to stay on that conveyor belt near the uh, top, so you don't have to run very far. Same thing on the top. You want to stay near the bottom um, so you don't have to run as far. Right, so this is a pretty tough part. The bow you skip. Um, what you want to do, uh, this is a pretty late, this is this is pretty tough tech here if you haven't done it. So get up to this top one, hold up, and then it, when he falls, like you want to be at the edge of this. You can just hold up. Um, you don't want to jump and hold up at the same time. You want to jump and then push up like I did not. So just get on the edge and hold up. That's all I'm doing. Falls, jump. I jumped too late. Try again. Jump and then up. So watch I'm doing jump and then up. See how I release up? I'm trying to show you like this. Okay, that's it. Jump up, jump up, jump up, jump up. Not j not up jump at the same time. So you definitely want to run here. You don't want to get stuck in that fight. I'll try to show you this whole room full speed. Don't run into the XM Ranger. <laughs> Oh god. Bombs are really bad. This is what happens. I lost two minutes on this fight one time when I uh, got killed or when I ran into this, so don't ever do that. Uh, there's also, like, if you take a bunch of damage, there's a safety, or a mushroom and a flower here you can grab. Don't run into the factory chiefs and Yara. There's two strats you can use here, both outlined in the paste bin. I did not. I dropped jumps, so good, by, good job by me. You want to use 25 jumps, then shocker. I think this should do the trick. 
Nope. So Mario is going to have to attack. But I got a pretty free attack here. Yeah, machine axioms are really bad. Oh, I got a rock candy drop. That's a one out of four chance to get the rock candy drop. Right, so here, just go into the fight. This fight's pretty tricky as well. This is a fight you could use the red essence on if you get in trouble. Now, there's two strats here. You can actually kill Cloaker, who's on the top. Um, but we fight Domino. You want to definitely time boost Mario. So here, if he actually fears Peach, uh, you'd have to use... You could either take an extra turn and use the rock candy. Okay, so you want you get Gina to kill him, it's okay. Um, on the snake, Peach can actually use Shocker, and it will take away 12 jumps. Um, Gino can heal Mario. Gino can also put the red essence on Mario if you get um, too low on health, because these attacks can really just straight up kill you if you're not careful. Poison you cannot block, so that's pretty bad. Hopefully I can do the jumps. You have to do 64 of them. Uh, so here we go. Jump on the snake. And I did 21. So I'm going to heal because I don't have a whole lot of health left. Every time you drop jumps, you can actually subtract. Um, you can subtract eight from the total you have left. So it's like I've done 29 jumps. So I could start at 29 in my counter. So that's a good backup there, is just, um... Uh, just count your jumps and heal Mario if you have to. Don't be afraid to heal. Especially in that situation. It's easy. If you have a billion ice bombs, you can throw in ice bombs here, but I just do Geno Blast. Full Geno Blast takes care of them. And then here, Clerk. Geno Blast attack. Pretty easy. These are like formalities that you have to do. He has 500 health, so Mario only needs 150. Mash A, mash A. Mallow comes back, just run up. No camera manip here, just do it. Mallow just wasting time. Toad comes and he gives us... Uh, you can buy anything you need. Um, you know, you don't need coins here. Uh, you're not going to get any more items, so you can just fill up your inventory with stuff if you want. It actually opens the shop menu for you. 
Uh, so you can buy mid mushroom or max mushrooms. You can buy honey maple syrups. Uh, pick me ups if you want. We'll buy a couple pick me ups just for fun. Maple syrup doesn't matter. Whatever it doesn't matter. All right. It gives us a rock candy as well. Um, and then we need that. That's in the route. So no equips here. And now we talk to our friend, the uh, manager. Unoblast, it's still there because you didn't move your cursor. This game remembers where the cursor was uh, from the last time you used it. You need 176 damage or more. We didn't get it, of course. So you have to untimed attack with Gino. Look at this, three counters. I've never seen that. Geno Blast and 176 damage takes care of those guys. After this fight, you want to use your, do your equips again. You definitely want to remember that haiku because it's uh, very important. Suit on Mario, Troop of Pin on Peach. All you gotta do. Pushing A a billion times, that's it. Alright, 39 jumps here on the director. Very important that you actually hit these. Okay, 707 is what you want to see, and then you use rock candy. If you can do super jumps, like, these fights are pretty easy because you just have to do a small number of jumps. Or you have to use uh, rock candies, so not too bad. But anybody can do the super jumps. This is some mental thing. If you can't do them yet, don't give up. I couldn't do them, and now I can do them pretty regularly. Lock it on the bottom there. Hey, this fight, you need a sleepy bomb for. That's what we bought it all the way back in uh, Tadpole Pond like three hours ago. That's what we bought it for. First thing, sleepy bomb. No questions asked. That puts him to sleep for three turns. So here, all we, we're just gonna throw ice bombs and rock candies. Rarely do you ever get this. I could probably just attack this guy. I'm not even following the chart. Just throwing bombs. So that's the gun yoke. And that's it. Now we get a smithy. Um, you don't have to, uh, you can save after gun yoke if you would like. I just run back a room. And, uh, and you can save, which I guess we'll do. 
Yeah, ice bombs are useful all the way to the end. So gun yoke, um, even safe head, you can use uh, you can use ice bombs. But yeah, last fight. Don't change equips. We're good. So the first thing to do when you get in the fight is you attack with Mario and you time it. And you need to get you get, you get at least 200 damage. That's if you time it correctly, you get 200. And there's different ranges, so you get up to 236. And if you um, you get anywhere between 200 and 217, you do 71 super jumps with Mario. And if you do 218 to 235, you do 70 super jumps, and if you do 236, which is the best, you do 69 super jumps, and that's the fastest. Um, and you do that, it doesn't actually kill Smithy straight away, but it uh, puts him in a state where you can kill him with Peach, and then you get three extra turns on Smithy too. So that bit of routing actually saves you a ton of time. So here we go, Smithy fight. So we're going to attack first. And then boost Mario. So we got 216, so we actually have to do the most amount of jumps. Or, uh, most amount of jumps. We have to do, uh, 59. Or, uh, 71, excuse me. That attack doesn't matter. 71. So basically the hammer and the jumps add up to 1700 damage and then the uh, rock candy finishes him off. So he doesn't have a chance to like make any uh, machine um, shy guys or anything. So what that does is that allows Mario to go first on unformed smithy head and uh, Gino goes second and Peach goes third instead of you know, or Peach going first and then Smithy going second or third. Uh, it gives you the most damage before you go into tank head. And so there's two attack two ways you can do this. Like keep Peach in, definitely. But you can um, uh, you can instead of attacking with Gino, which is what I'm gonna do. Actually I'm not. I'm gonna boost with Gino. You can attack with Gino to kill him faster. But if you boost with Gino, that means he can withstand one bullet from Smithy um, and not die. Whereas if you don't, then um, if you don't, he one bullet will kill Gino, and it always seems like the bullet gets Gino. So definitely, uh, definitely boost with Gino while you're learning, which is what I'm gonna do right now. He actually has the attack boost already, he just is missing the um, defense. So now the strat is to do as many jumps as you can. Even if you can't do a ton, do as many as you can.
Alright, so that was 66. That's a lot, but not as many as you can do. Still a good number. Alright, so bullet on Mario. That's fine. Chakra with Peach. Oh, early. Did 30. Uh, throw the rock candy. My focus isn't all that high, but that's what you're supposed to do. But if you're learning, you're like, well, crap, I can't do those jumps. So and now Mario's at two health. We have to heal him. If he dies, we're in big trouble. So we're getting chest head here. And that's because he went below a certain um, threshold of. Um, of health. So we're gonna use Super Flame now because he's weak to fire. Let's say I don't think I have a fire bomb. If you have rock candies at this point, you can just chuck them. Chest head, use flame. Um, you can just attack with Geno and Peach on this guy. It does like 100 damage each. Or you can heal if you want. Okay, Mage Head is going to do tons of damage to everybody. So you attack with Mario and Geno if they're alive and heal with Peach every time. I'm going to use a Kiro Cola. Just because I don't. I think Mage Head actually attacks again. Yep, so he actually would have killed everybody. Uh, maybe not with Boulder, but if he would have done another attack. So, always heal if you can. Oh, I definitely should have healed. Okay, I got lucky. Alright, um... I think he should be dead, but just for the sake of finishing this tutorial, I'm going to use the Red Essence. Okay, <laughs> he was dead anyway. Very nice. Okay, Mage Head, attack and heal. Um, jump on tank, fire on Chest Head if you get safe head. Attack with Mario, boost everybody with Gino. Once the Shredder happens. That's it. That's it for the execution, but now we watch the credits. We still have a couple text boxes to hit. This is pretty funny. This beats like my first like five runs I ever did. And I did a tutorial and I did it in English. And I did like save states and stuff. So there you go. The credit strats is to set the controller down after you push these buttons. Um, there's a couple text boxes here. Once you hear the music start up again, you can set the controller down. The star road is back to normal. And that's it. The controller is set down. Yeah, any other questions, comments, concerns? I've shown you the entire speed run. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Miss Crash. I've shown you the entire speed run. 
start to finish, so. Yo. Um, so yeah, that's uh, Mario RPG. But. Thanks. Pretty, uh, pretty much appreciate everybody watching. Uh, something I've wanted to do for a while, so I'm going to put this up on YouTube. And uh, I'll cut it up into like consumable parts, so you don't have to like fish through the entire uh, through the entire four-hour video uh, to find what you need. So I'm gonna put all this up like in a playlist on YouTube. Um, eventually, it might be like in a couple weeks. There will be a um, Mario RPG English race on Friday, May 13th, around 8 p.m., maybe 7 p.m. Uh, Everybody is encouraged to join. You must run the English version to play. And if not, you take a penalty. Um, and uh, yeah, I think I think it'll be fun. Hopefully we get a good turnout. You know, all runners of all experiences should be there. Um, I think uh, I think it'd be good to celebrate the 20th birthday of the American release. So... Thanks. He can take the penalty then. Nine minute penalty. Yeah, so the credits are um, very important part of JRTA timing. So they started running this game first. And the, side, the Japanese community always runs games that start from power on and end at the credits. So that's what we do. Because they started the run. Or they started the speedrunning community. I added a Johnny... Um, Johnny Sunset Split because it's the best. Pretty awesome. Yeah, Dark Circle, I've been up a long time today. I'm going to come back and uh, um, I'm going to play some more tomorrow. But yeah, I'm pretty tired. I need, I need to go to sleep. <laughs> hey, fast. Thanks. It is the hardest part of the run, CAD, for sure. Yeah, check out the resources uh, I've got in my bio. On the website, ask anybody in their chat. Yeah, I hope you uh, learned something. Maybe you can follow the speedrun along a little better now, knowing what's going on. Um, and just have a better appreciation for this game that is my favorite game. Uh, this route was constructed by The Claude, who is now known as Claude. Um, he came up with this route in March of last year, and it's a really good watch, actually, if you watch on his channel, um, the reveal of the Peach chart, which teaches Peach Shocker and um, Geno Blast. So definitely uh, check out Claude, other runners too, Milnium, Albrecht, Oxus from time to time. Uh, countdown 69. Uh, I, I eat your pie, and Caleb Hart also do runs, as well as myself. Um, and then there's some other new runners, so check us all out. The next race, or the US race, is on May 13th, Friday the 13th, at around 8 p.m. Eastern. That may be subject, or that's subject to change. Always do the symbol, mo uh, the symbol motion. But yeah, your reward for playing this great game all the way through from start to finish is watching the credits because it's a really good set of credits.
No math. pretty cool like i don't watch like all the credits all the every time i like watch bits and pieces but it's funny to see like all the little stuff that they did booster riding the train chasing people no i don't have clue I do not have clue for SNES. Cut the four. Sad. Feels bad. Yeah, this route um, is very unforgiving. Like this was the current any percent like world record route. Like this didn't really take many safeties other than saving, and you know other than not getting the super suit. Like that's like the only thing holding you back from doing this route. Um, the execution's fine. Like learning to block and time attacks is the most important thing. Um, so if you're looking to play this game, I would one get the English copy. Um, if you want to learn Japanese, that's fine, but get the English copy, um, so you know what's going on. Um, use the resources we have, ask questions, learn timed hits, time blocks, learn how to do super jumps, even if you can't do 100, and learn uh, movement through the room. But also, most important thing, we end when we get the D. 40152, a one and only tutorial run for Super Mario. I appreciate everybody watching. We're going to send all of our to 
Mr. Green Death flavor. So I'm gonna host him. And uh, you guys head over there. I'm gonna run a couple commercials. Uh, thanks for watching. Y'all have excellent night. <laughs>